Jo fuck. Come with us as we go all out glizzy style at New Jersey's top destination dogs. You want to see a fucking glizzy, my brother? Check I want to see out. a freaking Bro, glizzy. Check this shit out. Check. Check this shit out. You like Yo, my I'm fucking sure. fat cock? You oh. like that shit? You like that shit? I wish you could deep fry that cock. Deep fry it all you want. Look at it spinning it round and round like a little helicopter. Uh, you'll make that funny in editing. Bro, you're supposed to bit with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to bit with you. Wait, cut that. You're supposed to spin it round and round like a little helicopter. I'm going to be pretend to be naked. Hold on. You've cut. already done that. You've already pretended cut. to be naked. Cut. No, we're not cut. cutting. We're rolling. <laughs> we're cut. rocking and rolling. As a white dad, as a white dad would say after dinner, are you ready to rock and roll? On Riverside, there's little little uh, little profile pictures for each of us based on like a, a setting. Or, you know, us being the, here. The and first for me, second we join. Yeah, and for me, it's just you dancing. Just <laughs> like the I was waiting for you. I did like how you were like, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be on time. The minute it hits, I said late immediately. Isn't that funny? Yeah, well, the problem was um, I had a weird wiring issue. <clears throat> I unplugged the thing to split my switch into two TV, into my TV and my monitor. Uh, that needs power. And I unplugged it to plug in one of these. So I had to read. Yeah, it was a whole thing. So we've officially ran out of friends. We've, um, you know, we, we made fun of Sean and Tristan to the point where they no longer want to be friends with us. So we're back to our roots, getting back to our roots. Um, no more technical issues, though. So that's fun. I'm oh, feeling ben, spry today. Jack. You're feeling spry. I don't know why I'm feeling spry. Why are you feeling spry? So you're going to love this, dude. I have GERD. That actually plays perfectly into what I was going to say. I was talking with um, Ethan and other Ben that was uh, the other night about, about you. And, uh, you know, because we refer to you as podcast Ben because there's another Ben in the group. And then they said, no, he's more like side effect Ben. And I thought that was really funny to call <laughs> you side effect Ben. Because I have, because I'm always so in So many issues, yeah. <laughs> You're made of glass and, and um, I was going to say rubber. That's too strong for you. Yeah, bro. And I don't even wear rubbers. I pull out. I'll tell you what, my cum goes everywhere. <laughs> So, Zach, you have to listen to me. I'm Why are feeling you spry? spry. So he's feeling spry today, GERD. everybody. I have so he has GERD. GERD and he's feeling spry. Why does having GERD make him feel spry? N O P E, get that penis out of me, bro. I haven't had coffee speck. all week. A little speck no, it's not, on it's not a speck. It's a whole. I got this from Dollar Tree. <laughs> I so I haven't had coffee all week. I haven't had caffeine all week. If you rip it week. off, if you rip it off of your body right now, I'll pay you double the amount that shirt costs. It was just a like dollar. Tear out of it to you. Yeah, I'll pay you two dollars if you fucking tear that shit off, dude. Let me two. I think your girlfriend wishes she was here. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Now you're Look actually gonna see my fat cock. Bluff, dude. Yeah, no, we want that. I like I'm how we thinking, pretended to send you like something. That's awesome. <laughs> oh wait a minute! You were RuneScape bought a Kineticon. I was. Oh shit, I never sent the videos. No! I'll figure that out later. Um, Zach. Uh, bro. Fuck Kineticon. Hold on, I'm talking about my GERD. Okay, okay, we got a lot Zach, to get I to. Have, he went to Kineticon, he was drinking his gate and he has GERD and he's spry. I'm, I'm spry because I have GERD and I haven't had coffee all week. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Yeah, I hung up for my very important business call too. Sorry, I have. I was just that moved Kevin my Durant on your it on, it, uh, on your phone? Was that Kevin Durant you were just calling? No, was that it was KD? my sister. KP, your, your sister's Kevin Durant. No, well, sim the the P and D dude. But she similar. can handle balls like Kevin Durant. No, I'm too spry. <laughs> why are you? Sp <laughs> why, why? How many times do I got to say why are you spry okay. before okay. I hold find on. out why hold you're on. spry? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so. I, I just wanted to say the reason I got a call is because I moved my sister in and that's why I'm tired. And that's why I'm drinking coffee because I was tired. Second oh, so you're drinking I, coffee I, I now. I haven't been drinking coffee this whole week. I Because GERD, coffee, big no-no for GERD. <laughs> coffee makes your coffee, ears big go bye-bye. No -no. Make sure you go bye-bye. <laughs> that's why they're gone. Coffee, big no-no. Dairy, big no-no. I'm drinking coffee with dairy and caffeine and I'm spry. I'm spry. Are you spry because spry. it's your first time drinking I coffee have some all week? Right, oatmeal. Yeah. 
You know what's funny? I've been eating food on the show a lot recently because it's, mm-hmm. you know, I have to do it right after work now. I don't have food. That means, A, we got a no food episode. That's weird. And two, um, I don't have dinner. <laughs> so I got to figure two. that out. What? You said A, dinner, B, what? Fuck off. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, Zach, you stupid pussy. So has you're, Gerd been you're treating so you? fucking handsome, bro. And it pisses me off, and that's why I'm, I'm saying, at you Look always. at my beard line. Like, I gotta clean this up, dude. It's like, this angle, on the money. Look at me from the side. That's not that bad. But then if I, like, look up a little bit, it's like, what's this? Where's his neck, dude? Uh, I feel like clean that up. always. You look like Harambe. <laughs> like a silverback gorilla? <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, I went you're to a... For as for as fragile as you are, you look like a person that would be horrifying to get fucked by. You go absolutely nice. ape shit. Her POV. Uh, I can't do it. I was gonna do a her POV, but I can't do it. What would you have done with a her POV? I would have just stood over you like this. <laughs> would have said, mm, "Ice cream so good." Mm, Ride like a cowgirl, made me feel good. Bro, I'm too, I'm too spry today. I can chill. <laughs> He's too spry. I'm a little too spry. You know what's funny? Um, I know you're going to talk about Kineticon, um, but uh, it's weird because I've been low energy a lot recently. Like, I've been really tired the past few weeks, and I feel like it's reflected a little bit in this show. I feel good right now, but also at the same time, man, it's 118 degrees outside right now. I got to drive 30 minutes to go home, and it just kills me every time. Like... I'll wake up and I'll feel fine and then I'll get in my car to drive to work. And by the time I get there, I'm just dead again because I've been driving in that Mm -hmm. fucking heat and sun all the time. And then it's like I worked all day and I was like, you know what? I'm feeling good. Like I'm feeling like my energy's there. I get in my car. I drive all the way back home. And then now it's really hot. Like beforehand, it was hot and bright. Yeah, but it was like mild compared to what it's at this time of day. And so then I get home and I'm just I just want to lay down down you know what i mean like i don't want to do anything this time of year Mm -hmm. and it's reflected too because i've not been editing shorts that well recently or much at all if i'm being honest with you so no don't hide it you're beautiful big is beautiful i feel like a game of thrones like you look like a it's like a really high-end like women's wear thing yeah people pay a lot of money for the dress you're wearing right now who are you wearing um uh, uh robert baratheon I'm spry as fuck today, bro. Is this uh, name of this episode? Spry. spry Kids Three. Spry Kids Three. Island of Lost Dreams, or whatever the fuck. Was that the name? I don't know. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> I went to. We're selling a, it was selling a five thousand dollar comedy course, by the way. <laughs> um, actually, um, Hustlers University paved the way for a bunch of gurus to do the same shit and make money out for no reason. Well, paid mentorships and courses have always been like the the main moneymaker and online stuff. Yeah. Also, by the way, I don't mean to keep derailing the conversation. Sean said, I thought it was next Friday. I did too. Yeah, me too. I look at my, I look at my, I I actually set up the thing for next Friday. And I looked at the, um, Oh, is that why I got all fucked up? Because I was sure it was next Friday. Until it was, there, before, it was it. there for like an hour before you woke up. What? It was. I was on the Discord event for like an hour. It was before you woke up. I fixed it today. No, when I set up the the, the Discord event, I it was the wrong date for about an hour, and it was before you woke up during the. How do you know when week. I woke up and that I wasn't just ignoring you? Wake up at like nine fifty my time. It's what? Uh, oh, oh, well, yeah. Well. Nine feet around that ballpark, sure. Yeah. Um, and I, I got fucked up too. But then I looked at my what I have a I have a I have a calendar for like all of my payments and stuff in all of my like like even it's it's uh, well, hey, show I, me your bank account, please. Look, it has all it has work, 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 boys' night, work, work, Patreon, YouTube Premium, work, work. You have a Patreon. I, I'm subscribed to th- three different Patreons. One, uh, two of them I don't really them? even use. What? You want to name them? Uh, Ten Acre Woods, which is the it, it's a uh, a farm in Canada. 
Um, I, I, I you talked about this before, but I do like for like a new listener being like, oh, yeah, I give my Patreon to a farm in Canada. Farm, Canada farm Patreon. And then I got um, um, the free camera, uh, the maker of the free camera for Elden Ring. I pay him six twenty five a month or something like that. And then I got a third round. I don't even remember who it is. If I created a Patreon for the show, would you give money to it and be our only Patreon? You get all of my exclusive yeah. content. Yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you like? Would Would it pay off after a few years? Where you'd actually like drop a picture of, you know, that picture of uh, SpongeBob where he's pulling down his pants and you just see like the like the base of his dick. Yeah. Would just it the pay people off that after like five that? years? I pay They're for eating for five gruel. Years? But have you seen the picture of um, the people that extended that so you can see more? No, it was AI. Like an or artist interpretive trip. dance. Oh, did you see um, all the um, that that SpongeBob Lost Media thing like a week or two ago? No, bro, this is crazy. So, I'll, oh fuck, I, I gotta I gotta give the guy credit. Hold on, I gotta figure out what Lost Media channel it was. Did you see Ariana, that, Ariana, Ariana Grande is a homewrecker? <laughs> yeah, that Ethan fucking dollhouse yeah, I mean. or whatever his name yeah. is. So this guy on YouTube, his name is L Supersonic Q. He has 190,000 subscribers and he's a lost media YouTuber. Um, so I've talked about this before. I'm just interested in lost media content. He uploaded this video 10 days ago called the darkest SpongeBob lost media found behind closed doors. This is the wildest thing revelation um, that, that I've seen come out of this like lost media thing. So the animators that were making SpongeBob apparently um, on the back of the door to their, um, um, of like whatever their animating room was, would just draw SpongeBob rule 34, right? They would just draw like really obscene, um, things from SpongeBob as like jokes. Like uh, apparently according to this article, this guy, this ex animator gave, um, like the children that would have to tour Nickelodeon studios would have, they'd have to intentionally like not let them into the animators room at SpongeBob because like if they went into the room and turned around, they would see like Mr. Krabs plowing SpongeBob. They'd see like, there's one of Mr. Krabs just like shitting all over the thing. Like SpongeBob's like gay in a lot of these, there's some really crude images, right? Like all the stuff of them killing themselves or whatever. And um, this was like previously unknown. Like the only reason why that we know this exists now is because this guy was a lost media YouTuber. Uh, okay, I, I, I got to backtrack this. I'm trying to figure out how to format this in my, my brain. So they, at the end of production of SpongeBob, they had essentially Xeroxed and photocopied all of the different ones from the walls over the years from all the different seasons that they, that they did. And they compiled them into this book called, uh, again, yeah, uh, Behind Closed Doors. And they gave it out to like a lot of the staff, the animators of, of SpongeBob when they left. So. This was virtually unheard of because obviously it'd be really controversial if this information got out. And um, a copy was then passed down when I don't know if one of the animators died or what. Uh, maybe I'm getting that wrong, but someone had essentially given a copy to another guy who then emailed into this YouTuber with a copy of Behind Closed Doors. And it's verified true because you can find a really obscure interview from like the early 2000s where it is referenced like one or two times. Um, and there's just one single interview that was published on some news publication like years ago. Um, and th this guy totally found it, uploaded it online. And so now you can see real SpongeBob animators, genuine. It, it is rule 34 SpongeBob, but from the real SpongeBob animators, from the people that actually made SpongeBob. And it is now available online. Um, so it's mostly just gross. Like, it's mostly just vile, gross stuff. So I'm, I'm sure people would find it hot. But, like, you know, it was meant to, like, make them laugh. You know what I mean? Like, looking mm. at these crude drawings of SpongeBob characters. But isn't that crazy? Like, however many years later, we, we, we didn't even know this thing existed. And all of a sudden, it gets passed into the right hands. And now we have it. Can you imagine, like, the first person... To like draw SpongeBob Rule Thirty Four on a on a just it on a legitimately door. was the SpongeBob creators, right? Like, surely there's a, a plethora of it now. But like, <laughs> even through season one, they were drawing this before the show even came out. 
<laughs> they're just right in the animators room. They're just dude, check this out. And it's just SpongeBob just getting plowed by like Gary or something like that. And everybody's like, what the fuck? And like, just so like, but dude, I can, that's a skit. So there was, there was one specific example um, where uh, it's Mr. Krabs like shitting an absurd amount, like just launching shit into a toilet. And then he, and then he flushes it. And then it says, he says now for the chaser or something like that, or like that was the chaser or something. And if you go watch the um, SpongeBob episode where those cells are based off of Mr. Krabs for like no reason, he flushes plankton because he tried to steal a secret formula. He flushes plankton down the toilet and says, and now here, now here's for the chaser or something like that. But there's no reason why that line should be there. You know what I mean? Like he just says it for no reason. And so now those dots are connected that it was an inside joke with the animating crew that when Mr. Krabs flush, flush, flushes plankton down the toilet after trying to steal his secret formula. Um, and he says, now that's the chaser or something to that effect. Uh, it is really referencing him smearing shit all over the walls of the Krusty Krab. Are you just out of curiosity? Sorry, my brain works in waves. You, my dog do is barking good, downstairs. He, oh. Are you scared? My dog is Ben. <laughs> uh, you, can you do a good plankton impression? That is like Krabs. probably the worst. Crabs. 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 <laughs> You will eat at the chum bucket. I can't do it. It's like the most. What? Yeah, you're like, like a bot, like a like a Brooklyn hey, accent. You're gonna eat at a chum bucket. Um, yeah, no. You, the plankton has like more of a normal voice compared to other SpongeBob characters. So it's like the the doing a plankton impression requires more subtleties than like a SpongeBob or Mister Krabs impression. <laughs> Was that good? Dude, I used to work customer support. Um, like tech support for ring the video doorbell company. And um, I got a call one time from a guy named Tom. Well, I got, okay. That, I got eventually got promoted to like their uh, account logistics team where I was handling just like email escalation stuff. But I got a case that came through my desk for uh, a one Tom Kenny. And I never con in, in California. I don't, I have no way to verify that it was the voice of SpongeBob, but um, you know, Dude, I also Tom love Kenny Tom Kenny from Mr. Show. Mr. Show is awesome. I was going to say, Tom Kenny is in so much shit. Like, he, he has his dick in everything. Yeah. So I, like, I could have potentially touched um, SpongeBob's ring doorbell case. Isn't that fun? Wasn't there a big exploit with ring doorbell? Like, yeah, know, I was there for that. Recent oh, oh, did you tell you me about mean that? Recently? No, maybe I'm, maybe, maybe I'm just, maybe I saw it recently. Um, there, there were a few different things over the years. There was a really bad case of... Um, I, I, should I should I be leaking internal ring information no. on the on the phone? Should, should I get us in actual legal trouble with Amazon corporate? Probably um, not. That, so okay, so let me just preface this. There was an issue a while ago. I, I don't know why I said let me preface this. This isn't prefacing. This is just me starting a story. Um, there was an issue a while ago with um, there was this big news story that came out of this guy was talking into the um, into the phone. Like he was talking into someone's camera of like their mm. daughter or something. And so a, a lot of those, I can't say anything. I will say a lot of those issues were, um, a lot of those issues were just people not protecting their password and keeping two factor authentication off. That was like most of them. It rings. I, I will say this because th there is something I was about to say. I do know of an incident that I, I don't think I can talk too much about like publicly, but um, outside of that, I will say that over the course of my tenure at ring towards the very end, it got extremely secure, like to the point where it was difficult for me to even do my job level of I'm an employee and I can't even access like crucial information. You know how I, 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 I had, I've had experiences like that. You know how like, in I'm sure life. you're familiar with data security. You work a lot in like IT infrastructure stuff, right? Sort yeah, well, yeah, sort of. But what I, what I find is like companies don't really get their shit together until they get a kick in the ass. I, and I've noticed this many times over, like with companies that would just get like random ransomware and shit. Like yeah. they don't actually like they don't have like up to par security until they get attacked. most of the time. But the issue with Ring is they are a security company. 
You know yeah, what I'm trying to say? A, I didn't even think of so that. That is funny. They, they're a security company that like they're, they're a security company that had that startup nature to it, which I personally thought was awesome. It's why I enjoyed working there, but you could tell some of their processes like should have had more time spent on them. Mm. You know what I mean? And they, they got there, you know what I mean? But like, I think for a security company that should be like the thing you nail first and foremost, you know what I mean? Versus yep. like the company I work for now is a media startup, but like, so like, obviously like I'm sure some of the information isn't as secure as what it should be. I'm sure we'll get there, but like, we're not billing ourselves as, Hey, replace all of your security systems with us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's what I'll say publicly right now is they're very secure. Now when I started there, I'm not going to say they were insecure, but there were certainly things I saw from the inside that I was like, sure about that one. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Sure about that. For sure. I wanted to just actually touch on roll it back a little bit. The Ariana Grande thing. Oh like yeah. That, I don't really give a fuck about the Ariana. I don't like, I, I had a, a fuck about Ariana, Ariana Grande. Grande in, in high school. What? But, um, didn't you want to ask Miley Cyrus out or something? That was in middle school. Oh, you graduated to a yes, younger yeah. looking woman. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> and I just kept getting younger and younger. Legalize abortions so I can have them. High five. Bro fist. Bro fist. Bro fist. <sighs> um, cheating. Everybody okay, does I'm, it. I'm going <laughs> to give you. I'm going to give you. Did you, you know? <laughs> I'm going to drop you some scenarios and I want you to tell me which who's worst. Who's the worst side. Okay. Okay. Abusive boyfriend, girl, girlfriend cheats on the boyfriend with a nice guy. Um, shouldn't do it, but I don't give a shit. Go for it. Queen. Okay. Um, okay. Did, were you, when I said abusive, do you think physically or emotionally or both? Um, I think of a good middle ground where like you're routinely verbally abusive and it is recently escalated to physical stuff. Okay. But I'm not thinking of like a guy who's year like going on for years, just beating his wife every day. I'm thinking right. like this is now when you say that in, in my brain, I'm thinking of a recently esc like long term verbal recently escalated to physical cool Got type it. thing. Okay. Um, emotionally, uh, emotionally unavailable boyfriend, girlfriend. Che- or actually, we'll switch it because I don't want to. I don't want to keep getting the the poor guy getting cheated on. Emotionally unavailable girlfriend, guy cheats on girlfriend. Um, you should talk to them. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's unacceptable, but like, obviously like it, it, that, that relationship's donezos. Right. Yeah. But like at the same time, like I, I'm not like going to cry about it. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm, I'm not saying that from the position of the other person, like they can surely cry about it, but you know what I mean? Like if I heard that a friend did that, I would call them out on it, but I would not stop being their friend. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Um, here, here's an interesting one. I'd love to hear your take on this. Mm-hmm. Guy, guy and girl dating. Guy finds out he's gay and starts fucking guys on the side without the girl knowing. Who's in the wrong? Well, I mean, not who's in the wrong. How bad is well, that? Yeah, the girl's in the wrong. <laughs> um, wait, I'm sorry. What was the actual question? Girl, what was the I know the scenario, dating. but what was oh, the who, oh 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 uh. How bad do we like? How bad is that? Should I give it a number? Yeah, give it a number out of ten. Um, I give it a six out of ten. Okay. Um, on the scale of cheating, you know what I mean? Like, I think mm-hmm. still like don't continue that relationship. Clearly, all of right. these I'm gonna say don't continue the relationship. It right, is of just course, bad. Of I'm just saying that is a six compared to the abusive thing I'm putting at like. The first scenario I'm putting at like a nine. You know what I mean? Absent boyfriend. Girlfriend starts messaging other guys because the boyfriend is absent, but does not make physical contact whatsoever. I would need more context on these messages. Are they clearly directly asking to engage in stuff or is it more of like emotional cheating for male intention for for male attention? Mm. See, that's the thing, because I never have restricted any of my partners to who they text. You know what I mean? And like, 
I have girlfriends. I have girlfriends. I, <laughs> I've had girlfriends and have a girlfriend that I'm sure messages a lot of guy friends. And I'm sure like if we're in an argument or something, they will probably talk to them. But I don't assume, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't mm-hmm. assume anything else is happening. So I would have to see like a direct pattern or something above just venting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then if that's the case, I'm putting that at like a f- four or five. Okay. Still, I think that's recoverable in a relationship. Don't break it off for that. But I think like certainly getting the heated argument, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> create more problems. Oh, Double I'm trying to down like, on your behavior. I'm trying to think of like a scenario where the, where the cheater is like more right than wrong for cheating. I can't think I can I don't think there's a single um, your scenario. girlfriend's being held hostage and the guy has a gun to her head and says, I'll blow your pregnant girlfriend's head out if you do, head off right now if you don't go uh fuck a man right tonight. Oh. Okay. And then it's like, well, I'm doing her and my baby is a favor. That's true. Start okay, hiring hitmen to take your girlfriend hostage. I, was more thinking I don't realistic. know why this keeps happening to me, baby. <laughs> I was thinking of more realistic, but I mean, that's fine too. Um, no, because um, the Ariana Grande thing is interesting to me because she, it's, I, I she's mean, she's not cheating. It's the other guy. No, she's a chance. She's just a home wrecker. And I'm like, can I be honest for a second? I don't yeah. give a fuck about home wreckers. People get all bent out of shape about it. I personally don't care. Have you, has your home ever been wrecked though? Um, in a, in a, in a, in a quasi kind of way where we were like separated, but still living together, but like stuff not fully resolved and that got messy. You know what I mean? So, but, but even, even with that experience, you don't, you're like, eh. no, I mean like it sucks to be that person in that position, but like, I'm not blaming the, the guy, you know what I mean? Like the guy was never the person I had an issue with. Like people are going to be people. Well, I'm saying like, I don't get these people where it's like these girls who like their boyfriend cheats on them with another girl and they get more mad at the girl. Oh, yeah, no, I don't get that's that shit either. bullshit. And I the same applies but vice versa, too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but if but if say you have this has an armpit hole that is unrelated to the hole I made. That is so funny. Um, So but what but like if for in the Ariana Grande situation, it was from what I understand, it was they've been her, Ariana. And was you said his name was Ethan? What was his name? I think his name is Ethan something. Maybe <clears> I'm wrong. They'd been friends for a while, and she knew the 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 wife or whatever. Ooh, yeah, that makes things more complicated. I guess I was thinking about it. I was like, that's some dorky looking, corked up white dude. Yeah, I guess she I don't dated know. Pete Davidson. I guess she has a thing for dude, weird white fucking. White boy's dudes. got the biggest cocks. I'm white telling boy. you. I'm telling you, big cock white boys over here. What do they What do they say? B W C. BWC, big white <laughs> cock boys. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know. I just, I just wanted to have that conversation because it was like, who, who, do, who am I most mad at? Am I mad at the cheater or the home wrecker? Is it just I don't is give the a reason fuck that the, about the home wrecker? Is the reason? Well, is it the reason that her name is in the headlines? Is because she's just more yeah, famous? That's it. <laughs> it wouldn't be in the headlines if it wasn't Ariana Grande. I don't know who the fuck the right. other guy is. Right. So the, the only reason that her name's in the is so you're, you're saying that the home wrecker. Is less. At, I, th- like, I will say in this scenario, it is worse because she personally knew the wife. I did not know that beforehand. Apparently, then they, it she becomes held, like I, interpersonal I, drama. This is alleged, but apparently, she like had held their child as a baby before too. Yeah, that's too much, right? Yeah, then I then I then I don't like her for that specifically. Sure, but if this was just some random person, then I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Oh, People are going to be. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I feel like I had a more west. eloquent point about that that I'm now losing about the whole home wrecker thing. Like, oh, OK. I know. I feel like it. L- listen to this. I've thought about this for a while. I can't listen to like rappers if I'm going to sit here and bitch about like someone being a player. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like be mad at your wife for cheating on you. Sure. But I'm never going to be like that fucking dude. Like I can not like the guy. Sure. But I'm not going to like. I don't think they specifically did anything wrong. I'm going to be mad at the person that fucking okay. broke my trust. I have it. I have it. This, this happened to me. So I have, I have a more, I have a, a scenario. 
you and your best friend, best friend for 15, 16 years. I vaguely know about the situation. Yeah. So you're dating a girl for about a year, maybe almost, I think almost two. So say for example, two years on the, on the nose. And then she breaks up give with you. Take. She breaks up with you and then starts dating your, your, your best friend and your best friend. And then her date for like two or three years. What do you do then? Who are you mad at then? Well, that, see, now, you, now you're muddying the waters a little bit more because it's not a clear cut scenario because now this relies on like, where do you fit in this friend group, right? Because if it's like, if I have the boys with me and there's some like lesser boy, right? Someone lower lesser down boy. on the- There's someone little down- boy. There's <laughs> someone that was like on the outskirts of my friend group, you know what I mean? Like we all get together and play Xbox every night. This guy we talk to like like once a month, yeah. twice a month, they come in and they're a part of the group. Yes, I'll, they'll never hear me say you're a lesser friend, but like, you know, I'm not yeah. talking to them every day. Yeah. If it happens with them, ideally, we can fucking push that guy out. You know what I mean? Like, that's too much. Or like, I have some kind of leverage to be like, no, I'm just not going to engage with that guy. Like, if he like is out with you tonight, I'm not going out with them tonight. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if like, the roles are reversed and I'm the lesser boy. I, I I mean, like I'll talk to the people that are there. Maybe I can remain friends with them. Maybe there's something to work out, but I ain't hanging around for too long. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, save, save, save some face. But then again, it depends on like the terms of that initial relationship. It depends on like how, like how you talk to your friends specifically, right? There's a lot of like, context that requires and that goes into that decision making you know why is my t- my fucking tit is so pointy why is it doing that there's no ears and pointy tits his all his ears went to his tits <laughs> um i hate it so much um so uh would you ever be able to uh, be able to but you to turn pointy i got a round i got a rotund tummy though um would you ever be able to forgive the either party do you think personally? This is more of a personal question. Uh, what do you mean? I'm the person that got cheated on. Yeah, you're you're the not cheated on, but Mr. Studio Girl. After you guys broke up. Uh, again, this just entirely depends on like everything before. You know what I mean? Like I could see myself sure. being like never again, never talking to you again, and I could also see myself like figuring out some kind of way if it's been like, you know, depending on the terms of how things ended. I, ideally I'm not interacting with those, with that couple anymore. You right, know what exactly. I mean? Like I'm, I will try to find a way to remain friends with those in the friend group, but I'm not yeah. like, I, I'm, I'm minimizing as much as humanly possible. The amount of time with those people. Okay. And forgiveness is, um, forgiveness and spending a lot of time with are not mutually exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I can, like, let, let, let's say ideally like the relationship ended with both of both of us being like, this is just not good for each other. Like, let's just end this. Like neither mm-hmm. of us are happy here and it was good. And then that happened. You know what I mean? Then it's like, okay, well I have forgiveness for the, you know, my ex because like, you know, clearly we, we, we worked things out and you know, we all moved on. The friend thing though is a bit, uh, I, I, I don't even know if that you would even consider that a home wrecker at that point. I guess I have less to forgive in that scenario, you know what I mean? But perhaps mm-hmm. there's a scenario where I do, but I'm not going to then go out drinking with them every night, you mm. know? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, now I, and the last question for, about this subject though, I'm just curious after the first time you had sex, what was the biggest duration of time between having sex? After the first time? Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Uh, what, what was the biggest duration of time after the first time where you weren't having sex? Like a, you mean just one? so not the duration after the first time, but in between any of the times. Yes. Honestly, probably like a year. Okay. At one point, I got super depressed for like a year or two, and I was just not going out. Okay. Why are you why are you smiling like I said like I said something wrong? Four years. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were gonna <laughs> I thought you were gonna make fun of me for being 
for not like doing it more. I was like, that's not that bad. You know, no, not at all. I, I regained my virginity in those four years. Crazy. Like, it was How crazy. old were you? Twelve? Nine. <laughs> oh, that would be horrendous if you counted getting molested. <laughs> and then you were like, you're like, I, I was like, Ben, how, how how long has it been? How long was your biggest gap year? You were like, oh, like 15 years, <laughs> like 20, like 27 or something. Um, that's awful, man. Okay, before Cancel we get into the, the the Kineticon stuff, which I'm very excited to get into, he's, I want to talk he's to you so about. Spry, the, he's the, shaking. Did you see the Doja Cat shit? Um, I've seen random shit about her recently. What apparently, apparently, like, Doja Cat? long story short, she called her fans stupid as fuck for liking her oh, music. Oh, yeah, I and think, people are yeah. mad at her. Like, and I get if you're a fan of her being mad at her, I think that's boss as fuck, dude. I honestly think, think that's so fucking people cool. got way too invested in, in these celebrities. And to be fair, I do too, to an extent, right? Like, I certainly obsess over the music that I like and uh, a lot of the media that I like, but like. I can't imagine any of the artists I obsess over being like, yeah, my fans are stupid. Cause like, here's the thing, the artists that I like a lot of, I usually like disagree with the fan base. You know what I mean? Like that is a thing that usually happens. Like I hate halo fans, death group fans. A lot of them are funny, but they're kind of really fucking annoying. You know what I mean? Like I'm a big Washington commanders fan online. I'm happy. We're celebrating a new owner. So the team Dan, but, um, uh, you know, everyone's trying to get them to change the name back to Redskins right now. Just fucking let it go. You know what I mean? So like mm-hmm. if any of them came out and said, yeah, all of our fans are stupid as shit. I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? I'd be like, right. fair enough. Mm-hmm. I agree. Thank God. Um, so, you know, I, I just, I just can't see myself being uh, upset like that, you know? Um, but, uh, is that not boss as fuck though? Yeah. As someone who doesn't care. As someone who does not but give a fuck about But doesn't she have the whole incel cat. thing? Like she was in all those incel chats when she was younger and then all those videos came out and she was saying some racist shit. I don't know. No, so like it was like early on in her career, like she had to say so and then she blew up and then all these videos came out of her like talking in like these 4chan incel groups and everything and then everyone was upset with her because she was like... um like closely related to all these like incel groups. This is right around the time that they were doing some like alt-right terrorist attack type shit too. So people were heated and then they tried to cancel her for a minute. She came over it, got all of her fans back. Everyone seemed to forget about it. She said this thing recently and that I've been seeing people repost things. She said back from that same initial batch of leaked videos and she's saying some stuff. God, I don't want to put words in her mouth, but I'm pretty sure they're offensive in some regard. I'm not quite sure if they're anti-Semitic or racist or what, but she's saying certain things about certain people that don't reflect good on her. But then she's probably just trolling because she seems to be getting a rise out of these people. But she is saying it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but I don't know. I guess you could say that about this show, too. I was going to say, I mean, the amount of shit that Sean <laughs> says, I know, I know Sean politically, where he's politically standing. Yeah, the thing is, I know, I know what Sean's actually like, but sometimes he'll say stuff and I'm like, all right. <laughs> get I mean, in 10 years. It's been me for the last like 15 years, bro. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, but uh, I, I, I honestly, I was, Alexis told me about that and I was like, oh, that's boss as fuck. And she's like, no, it's not. We're us, us, cause she's a fan of, of Doja Cat. And I'm, oh. I'm like, I'm like a passing fan of Doja Cat to be, uh, to be honest. But I, I is that like I'm the not, main like, difference between like women, like female fandoms and male fandoms is like, male fan like all the fandoms i'm a part of like i i as i said i like hate them too you know what i mean like yeah there's a level of schadenfreude you get with being a fan of a lot of the artists that i like too right like mm-hmm. not that i'm particular like i'm very anti-kanye these days but i used to be a really big kanye fan and like the whole push and pull of like well this album's not coming out anymore or i'm saying this crazy thing now or being a Brockhampton fan, right? Where it's like, they'll like be about ready to drop an album and they'll post a thing being like, God told us not to drop this album. And it's just, you just never hear it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like, mm-hmm. that's just a part of the roller coaster of being a fan. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you get upset, but it's fun that you're being upset or you talk to people online and they disagree with you about certain things. And it's fun to be like, no, you're fucking dumb. Here's mm-hmm. why I'm right. Like, that's kind of like the nature of, of being a fan of some of these things. You, you take, uh, pride in your passion and your beliefs and 
even though you come together to unify over one thing that you like in the details, you're kind of like trying to just, just disagree with each other to some extent versus I feel like a lot of female fandoms, whether it be, and I'm sorry for being stereotypical here. I'm seeing a lot of Taylor Swift. I'm seeing a lot of Doji cat. You know what mm-hmm. I'm talking about? Um, I've been watching, I've been, I started the Sopranos recently, yeah. you know, <laughs> um, Doji cat, Doji cat. But, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot more. It's not even about being positive or not, but it's like my person I'm putting up there is like a queen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. can do no wrong. You yeah, know what I mean? As soon as they do I, something wrong, it's I, like I'm ooh, I'm sure that I'm wrong. Right. Like, I'm sure you can find plenty of examples of predominantly female fandoms that disagree with each other and bicker. And I'm sure you can find predominantly male fandoms that, you know, tend to agree on most things, but that's just my kind of observation. ATM. Yeah, sure. I, I, I don't, I don't hold anybody to a high enough regard where if they called me stupid, I'd be like, ow, that really hurts. Like if my favorite YouTuber said, I get called I can't stupid by my shit. best friends daily. You're stupid. I don't care what Doja cat has to say about yeah, that's, me. That's, that's the thing is like, if, if my favorite, like, I can't even think of who that would be, but like if my favorite like content creator or whatever said, Oh, if you watch my videos, you're a fucking dumbass. I'd be like, you're damn right. I'm going to keep being a fucking dumbass. I don't <laughs> so care. Let me, it doesn't bother me. This is a good segue into something else too. Is there a famous person? Is there a, yeah, a famous person that exists, whether it be a list, like an actor or a musician or D list, like some YouTuber that you would love to meet and have a conversation with. Bernie Burns. Truthfully. You know, uh, Ty, you know who Ty is? Yeah. From FWSX. He, um, did, he interviewed him. I think you told me that. Yeah. He had a college radio show. He blows my mind. I, Ty, if you ever watch this, you're, I'm your biggest fan. I know we don't talk much anymore, but I adore every aspect of you wholeheartedly. But, um, no, he had this college radio show. Ethan and I called into it when he first did it. I was back in like high school. He's a little bit older than me. And, um, he just emailed Bernie Burns and was like, do you like, are you willing to, uh, call into my radio show and do an interview? And he said, yes. And there's like a whole hour long conversation they have had on a radio show. Isn't that crazy? He just emailed him and he was like, yeah, sure. But so the reason I, so the reason I picked Bernie though, I mean, and I'm, Obviously, nowadays, I'm not really that big of a Rooster Teeth fan, but I think that how he... Okay. We're, we're talking about RT again. Um, do you know the story with Inside Gaming with, with Adam Kovic? Not, not the, that story. Not the eggplant um, story? The, the, Ad, 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 Adam Kovic was doing, some, it was, was doing his Inside Gaming stuff, and it wasn't really popping off. If I, I'm trying to remember. I used to watch it. I was a fan of Inside Gaming Probably from the beginning, if I'm being honest, when I was in like middle school. Well, there, well, he he had a, he had I think it was inside gaming, and it wasn't really working out. I it knew him the, back when he was the dead pixel. Wow, that is you that know what I'm talking about. No, before he was that, Adam Kovic, he did um, machinimas where he literally like lower weapon drop on Halo Three mm-hmm. and Halo Reach, and he did like gaming news roundups as the dead pixel. And I was a oh, fan wow. of him back then, before he even had his face on the internet. Oh, holy. Yeah, no. Holy shit. I followed Definitely Adam not. Kovic for a while. I was a big fan of him in Inside Gaming and Funhouse. Yeah. And imagine my surprise when I see yep. him with a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, well, he, he was doing the Inside Gaming stuff. It wasn't getting much traction. And I think that they were like, oh, here's a guy that's going to make it work. And it was Bruce Green. And he made it work. And he uh, the views I've met Bruce shot Green. Shot up. He, great, great guy all around. I like him a lot. Um, so I think that Bernie is that for like this, like anything Bruce is in is at least funny at the very least funny. Right. I think Bernie is the same way. Anything mm. he is in is, is at, at, the, at the least interesting at the very least uh, interesting. See, I think I that said- he's a, such a good, good content brain all around. I have nothing but respect for Bernie him leaving RT made me stop watching RT. So, I mean, See, that I you said that because I'm a fan of a lot of things, right? And there's a lot of people out there where if I saw them in person, they'd be like, holy shit, I can't believe that's that person right there. I have jack shit to say to them. I have nothing I want to say to a famous person. I don't have anything I want to pitch. I don't have anything 
that I want to ask them their opinion on. And I don't have anything I feel like is interesting enough to tell them either. There's really? not a single famous person. I think, I mean, listen, if, if someone I idolized or cared a lot about wanted to have a conversation with me, of course, but like, I hear this thought all the time. It's like, Oh, I'd love to say this to that person. I'd love to say this to that person. I ain't got shit to say to you. Well, Zach, I don't, that I don't have shit to say to any famous person. Zach, that confuses me, and I say this in the most loving way in the in the world. You know, shut the fuck up. So I think I feel like you'd have a great conversation with somebody. What do you want me that, to do? That, Walk up to Jack White and be like, "Dude, you're never gonna believe it. There's this fucking Jack pizza White? place." Is that, the guy from, is that the guy from the fucking Monday Before Christmas or whatever the movie's called? What is it called? The Monday Before Christmas. Before Christmas. No, <laughs> Jack White is a uh, rock star. Ja- Jack White is um, was half of the White Stripes. You'll know them from Seven Nation Army and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Um, had a legendary rock career out of Detroit, Michigan. Uh, when they split up, he went solo. I've seen him live many times. He's one of my favorite musicians, and he owns Third Man Records, which is awesome. Um, but you don't share a passion with him. You don't make music. He also at seems this like point. a bit of a jerk. He's not oh. problematic at all. But every time you see him in public, he just looks grumpy. You know what I mean? The dude's very anti-technology. I mean, he owns the largest vinyl pressing plant in America, and he does not own a cell phone. And I think he writes all of his press releases on like a typewriter and shit. Like I just wouldn't get along with the guy. You know what I mean? He's mm. one of my big, I'm like one of his biggest fans. I will, his music is so fucking awesome. I look up to him in every way. I have zero interest in having a conversation with him. Okay. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I would love to, like if he came up to me and he was like, Zach, I watched the regurgitated podcast for some reason. And I would love to talk to you. I would of course oblige, but I would never seek out. Like I have nothing to say to Jack White. You know but what that, I mean? That, but that's what's confusing me is that you, you have, you know how to hold a conversation, how to keep a conversation flowing, and you. And, but but the thing, the problem is with this guy is you don't have a passion that aligns with his passion. I want. I would like no, to talk I'm to sure someone. I do. I'm sure we could talk about music for like two hours if I hit him on the right. But you don't like make musician music, or right? something. So it makes it, it. I think feel like that. There's like a wall there. I'm sure he would still like nerd out about certain musicians and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I will make music. Maybe I'll make start making music, and then I'll go talk to Jack White, and it'll fucking it have. Now we're uh, talking, Zach. Now we're fucking talking. Then then I'll have um, gay sex behind my girlfriend's back for 20 hours. Um, <laughs> why do you shoot me away? Um, no, I tried to high five you, but it looked gay. Oh, okay. Good. Um, no, yeah, I, I, I'm, I would love to talk to like anybody that is successful and that I like their person, their, their personality or, or, uh, uh, comedic stylings. I would love to talk to them because I don't know what I'm doing. Riff. I love to riff too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a great riffer unless I'm spry and I'm spry today. He's spry um, today, everyone. But do you want to talk about comic? You're only a Kinetic great riffer when you're riffing ass. I don't have I don't have a fart ready. I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about Kineticon? Do you want to talk about Kineticon? Okay. So, for those who don't know, Kineticon is a yearly, an annual um, convention in Hartford, Connecticut, in the Hartford Convention Center. Um, I've never been. I've heard about it for years. I've never been it, but I went to it for the first time ever, uh, July twenty first to second first. Whatever the fucking Saturday was. You went, um, not me. And um, I had an okay time. It was, there was no RTX. RTX was much bigger when I went to RTX. It was much bigger. Um, I had an okay time. The food is too expensive. Everything was too expensive. But that's the fucking convention way, my brother. You know what I'm trying to say to you right now. So I'm going to share a few pictures with you, Zach. I'm going to, I'm going to, this is not, editing is not going to see what I'm, why are you doing that? <laughs> I'm shocked. Um, uh, editing is not going to see this. I'm going to just edit. I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is Zachary. So Ben Jury. I dressed as RuneScape Bob. I guess that's not what his name is. He's called RuneScape Bob is a cat. I can't, I've called him RuneScape Bob for my entire life. I don't know where I got that information. It's a RuneScape bot with a T. Okay, I dressed as a RuneScape bot, but I forgot, <laughs> I forgot my bald cap. So I was a RuneScape bot with hair, and nobody <laughs> recognized who I was. So I want to show you the first picture. 
This Brian took he's in just the wearing middle. a t-shirt. I'm just, <laughs> just wearing, a, wearing t-shirt. a t-shirt. So this is me and Brian, uh, or and uh, well, everybody. So th- on the right is obviously Brian. He's a RuneScape mage with a party hat. Uh, I'm on the left. That's me, and I made a silly face. I look like I'm lost. Barney. He, he's a character from Tarkov named Killa. And then another RuneScape rep, Joe, doing the peace signs. He's a, he has a skill cape. He's a RuneScape skill cape. He has 100%, 100, level 100 range, double 99 range. I know. Wow. Can't hide so, from him, ladies. That um, Riz range is over 9,000. Dude, check out this fucking line. Yeah, that's a stupid line. It was genuinely atrocious. So we were we waited in that line. We were we had to be there for two. It was noon. We got we got there. It took about an hour and fifteen to get in. We we wanted to be there by two because Barney wanted to get a thing signed. So uh, this is us walking into the convention center. This is me waiting for someone to pee. So it's the the so there's the the left big. half is the left left half is like. What is this specifically for again? Just anything? Just little trinkets and toys? Anime, anything, any, yeah. Anime, um, music, movies? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Primarily anime? Games? Games, yeah. Um, This left side is just the hangout spot. There's like a little cafeteria right behind where I was standing here. Um, And then there's the spot to the... (laughs) There's a boxing. There's a spot to the right. Spot to the right is uh, where all the setups are, all the booths are. Yeah, and then there was this random ass boxing. I would like that. It was random, random anime boxing. It was Little Mac versus like Wall Ouija or something. And then I got another shot of that. Did you enjoy random anime boxing? No. I don't want to derail your story, but remind me if I haven't told you about it before, my uh, backyard West Virginia wrestling tournament story. All right, save it. I'll save it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was like the, the convention center. I didn't get a, a good shot of like the booths or whatever, but. Um, In fact, I didn't get any more pictures. Um, I got this of Barney. This is his Killa cosplay. You, you kind wore of, that on the show. Kind of banging. Oh, he did. Kind of banging. Um, he was sweating his ass off because it was like 100 degrees out. Um, I bet. Trying to see if there's any other pictures. This is I've, a picture I took, 0.5 clearly. It's Brian with his RuneScape staff looking, uh, looking off in fucking It looks Hartford, like a 100 Gex cover. Dude, it's so good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut him out. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to f- try to find a way to get like some RuneScape backdrop in there. That's my plan. Um, and it, what's good about this picture that I like a lot that I didn't notice when first is that the party hat makes him look like he has like an angular head in his shadow, like a RuneScape character would have. Cause it's like, mm. you know, all this graphics. I thought that was cool. Um, okay. Now this is the crazy twist that took America by storm. So we were all taking a picture outside together as all of us, all of us looking schnazzy. Um, yeah, Barney is, um, Kayla. Evan and Danny are not dressed as anything. Joe uh, is the RuneScape, whatever. Me, RuneScape. Uh, oh, there's Sean Doodle. Sean Doodle uh, dressed as nothing. And then Alexis dressed as Inko Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Um, I know. Hashtag not My Hero Academia. Hashtag not My Hero Academia. So we were taking these pictures. That's my and contribution my buddy- to this bit. I know jack shit about anime. Not <laughs> hashtag not My Hero Academia. Um, and then... Uh, we're hanging out there, and Sean's just like, "That's Andrew. That's Andrew." And we're all just ignoring him. We have a, we have a friend named Andrew that we used to do the hoopist stuff with, the Cagnu stuff. Oh, okay. And he's like, yeah. he's like "That's that's Andrew. That's Andrew." And we're just I'm kind of ignoring him, and then I look, and I'm like, "That's actually Andrew." We haven't talked to Andrew in like five, probably about five years, and it's just Andrew. And he comes up, and he's just like, "What Andrew. the hell?" It's just Andrew. Put, ro- put he's like, robot what? rock. It that's just Andrew. It was just. I don't know what, oh, I know what I'm saying. You're saying, um, so that was just Andrew and, uh, he came up and he talked to us and we're like, Oh, what's up, dude. And whatever. He's like, Oh yeah, I went to, I, you know, I was, I was walking around the con and we got this picture. Cute. With, uh, so Dazzly and Andrew, Dazzly is his girlfriend. Dazzly and Andrew are now in the background. Um, 
They came out of fuck. They spawned in, bro. They TP'd to us. They were a just new, there when uh, we were there. A, what is it called in Smash? A new foe has just appeared, or a new player? Yeah, a new, has just a fucking a newcomer has appeared. Yeah. Um. So that was really cool. It was really nice to see Andy. Um. Oh, this is me. This is me walking. This is my face. This is me walking around, not Still knowing has what no to ears. do. No ears. No ears. Zero ears. Um. Now, now here comes the little funny bit. All right. What do you think is happening in this picture? Um, Black Naruto rizzes up Livy Dunn. That's Goku. <laughs> Black Goku rizzes up <laughs> Livy Dunn. I don't know what that Baby means. Baby Goku rizzes up Livy Dunn. So he could be the new Riz King. He could be the good. He could. He could. That could. Black Goku could be the new Riz King. So this is what actually I like was happening. That ben does not know what I'm referencing. No, I don't. Wow. <laughs> Sean. Sean in his head. Thought bubble just says fucking retards. <laughs> Dude, this is the. This is the. I'll be at the convention center. Sorry. Um. And so I'm just sitting on the stairs like this. Like emo cyberpunk girls. You know the videos of the people doing the. Yeah. 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 That's what that reminds me of. I'm just sitting on the stairs like this. Fucking flabbergasted of what I'm witnessing. Why did I have to stand right in front of whatever the fuck is going on here? Switch quickly between these two pictures and make it look like you're looking around. I can't do it. Um, Yeah, but I want to like, you get what I'm saying. But Zach, it gets worse. More people spawn in. It's almost like it's a fucking event. <laughs> Just walking up. A um, new player has entered, has appeared. <laughs> um, I thought I got another video of it, but I guess I didn't. Bro. 45 minutes of just listening to fucking K-pop and people jumping. It was like one of those things. I, I guess it, it's a uh, Alexis knew about it. It was a thing where they they jump in and if they know the dance, they do the dance. And when they when they don't know what they're doing, they they leave or, you know, whatever. 45 minutes of this that we're just I'm just sitting on. The, I tell you, they put crank that soldier boy on. You're not getting me out. They they well, they bro. None of them would have known that shit, bro. it's K-pop or nothing. They, they tell me to nothing. hit the Quan. Oh, I got that. Bro. It was a I'll great teach time. him how to Dougie. Oh, Zach, I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to show you what I got. Look at those nipples. Look at that ass. He got something. He do be getting something. How's everyone's night going? You smoke meth recently? Yeah? No? Ah, forget about it. Eh, hey, forget about it. I went to a few booths. Yeah, and I'm shortstop for the Mets. That was something they said in Sopranos. I'm on episode oh. six. Oh, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy for you. Sean he said someone said season. something. A character in the show said something um, ludicrous. A character in the show said something, you know, Bananas? not not very realistic. And yeah. one of the Italian mobsters in the Sopranos said, yeah, and I'm shortstop for the Mets. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. With what I, or did get, you I get hear the joke. It? Well, he doesn't have ears. Um, I so wish I you wanted, could sign. I'm sorry. Is it offensive to, to fake sign language? Even though you no, don't I can know. do. I can do Naruto jutsus. <laughs> to go up to a deaf person and start doing <laughs> Naruto jutsus. I met a deaf person the other day. How was that? I don't know how to fucking sign to him, but. Uh, you know, I did my best. So I um, I went to a few booths. Uh, there was one that interested me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a big retro game guy. Okay, mm, do you have a CRT? Yeah, it's right there. Is it heavy? I can't see it. Your light is. Pre- oh right no, wait! There. I can see it. I can see it. It's just the lighting and the quality was not. Um. So. 
I'm also on a quest to find to to I'm get, a big retro gaming guy and I'm also on a quest. You I'm wouldn't believe it. Quest. The odds of a retro gaming guy being put on a quest. I'm being put on a quest, I know. And I, I you could say I'm on a dragon quest because I'm I. trying to get I'm trying to get all the dragon quest games. Um so I go to this booth at the con and they have this. Do they have rare games? Like rare the company? No, like like rare video games that are hard to come by. Uh, yeah, like and they had them in box. Discontinued video games or something. Is it not gonna focus? Focus. My headphones keep beeping on me. I'm sure. I hope they don't die soon. It's Dragon Quest Nine. I have Dragon Quest Nine. Fifty nine dollars. Oh. Why was it fifty nine dollars? Because they're hard to come by for some reason. Oh, so I was right. Yes. Um, so I got Dragon Quest Nine, and I was happy because so I have Dragon Quest uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, and eleven. So I'm missing a few in between. I'm missing six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I got Dragon Quest Nine. I'm like, oh, that's great. That's great. That adds to my thing. That's fantastic. And then I'm like, so I drove. I drove this. He drove everybody. I drove the. I know. And um, so look I, out! That I, guy is behind the wheel. I was like, okay, before we leave, we're going to go 15 minutes away. We're going to go to the retro game store to see if I can get anything. Cause I didn't get, I, all I got was this. This is the only thing I got from the con. I looked to see if they have any more dragon quests. Cause I'm kind of like in a dragon questy mood now. He's they spry. Had two dragon quests there. Look at the price. Ninety three ninety nine. I'm assuming that's around the same price as if you had ordered it online. No. 300 online. So you got yourself a pretty good deal. Pretty fucking good deal. And then I got uh, the $60 Dragon Quest 7. So all I need now are 8 and 10. Hey, um, maybe we'll start a P.O. box soon. And then I, I was like, I, I spent... And you can this mail is us bombs. <laughs> Why would you say that? This is one hundred fifty dollars, right, right here. This, these two little chips are one hundred fifty dollars, and I was like, I was like, should I get something else? Like, should I get like a third? I don't know. What did, what did I say? It was like it was buy three get one free or something like that, or buy two get one free. And it was so if I got these two, I could get any game less than fifty seven ninety nine for free. It's like that's a good deal. And, she's, and then I looked on the thing, and it was like, it didn't include 3DS games. It only included Nintendo DS games. And I'm like, fuck. And she's like, but I will give you a deal. If you buy a third game, I'll give you 20% off. All right. So I got a game. I, I was like, Evan, what game should I get? I have no idea. I'm not, I, I actually don't want to get anything else. He said, uh, get this game. Apparently, this game is good. I'm not going to play it. I might play it like later in life, but I'm not in the middle. That'll mood be to an old it. man game. It's Zelda Link Between Worlds. Apparently, it's really good. Um, it's blow your fucking cock off when you put that cartridge in. Blow my little in. cock off. It's gonna blow and your little cock. Because of that, I had so I had been playing Dragon Quest, and I kind of took a little bit of a break from it because I had to grind sixty four thousand gold, which took multiple hours. But I got back into it, and now I'm out here talking to Sancho. Oh my god, is that Sancho? It's Sancho. He you speaks only Ben's in wife? Spanish. K? He says K. <laughs> I'm speaking to Sancho at the Goth Castle. The Gotha only Castle. Spanish word in there was K. Yeah, but he, the, the rest of it was kind of... Um, got a little pepperoni nipples there, dude. I'm going to put a fucking shirt on, Zach, if you keep looking at them. Oh, your eyes are up there. Um, I'm so beyond excited to play more dragon quest games um they're like all kind of dragon the same quest. so far what what do you like about the dragon quest games so i played pokemon um oh, okay well it, it leads into it i played pokemon for years because i really liked the design of the pokemon and the idea of having of designing a team, even if it was just for the single player, designing a team and like getting, this is going to sound super cringe, but getting to know the Pokemon, like, um, like, is this Pokemon good here? Uh, do I like this Pokemon? And I, I've learned a lot of Pokemon I like and a lot of Pokemon I don't like using. And I loved learning that out of a thousand, the thousand Pokemon I've, I've, I've learned a lot. 
you know, a lot about a lot of them. And I really liked that. Um, so in, I'm kind of doing the same thing in Dragon Quest, um, where it's both my, a, my, like my a, 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 a game. I have to grind a lot. It's both my, 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 my a, a, a game. And it's also, um, uh, I, I, the character design. So do you know who Akira Toriyama is? You wouldn't. I'm, I, I, I'm saying you wouldn't, but I'm letting you answer as well. Um, it, it's not Akira from the Akira anime, right? No. Uh, Akira Toriyama Akira. is the... Is, is that I'm happy you know that only from TikTok. Um, I know Akira. It's Kanye West's favorite anime. He thinks it's better than oh. Spirited Away. Oh, okay. um, I know Akira because it's in a lot of those lo-fi 24-7 music stations yes. I listen to. It does look pretty cool, though. She has a motorcycle that she... Um, um does that little drift stop thing too yep. yeah she lives in like a cyberpunk town yep it's pretty cool yep um no you know what? Can I, I know that you're on something i've watched i do have an anime that i watched that i genuinely liked do you know what it is have i told you this before avatar no there was a i mean i've not watched like all of it but there was an anime show i'll say it's a show it, it, it reminds me of Akira a little bit too. Well, not entirely, but just in terms of tone. Um, but I, I watched nice. a bit of a nope, an anime show for a while that I, I genuinely really liked, and I might have to finish. How much of it? How much percentage wise of it? Do you, oh, like do you only watch? a few episodes, but I did like it. How many episodes are there? Do you know? Oh, I have no clue. I have no idea. What, what show? It was Cowboy Beat Bop. Oh, you think you did tell me that actually? Yeah, I, I really, for whatever, I watched a few episodes of Cowboy Bebop and I really liked it. You know what so. show I want you to watch, Zach? And I, you won't ever watch it because obviously I'm you're watching not, the you're Sopranos right now. I know you got to watch the Sopranos first. Let me show you. I have the manga. It is that good. You know what this is? So, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I wonder how I figured I'm that sure. out. The Full Metal Alchemist. Full Maybe. Metal Alchemist. Oh, it's just, it's, it's a meme. A TikTok meme. This series, I'm reading it now to see if it's any different from the, from the, from the show, um, is what I suggest to every person who has never watched or never really liked anime. This is the one that I recommend them watch because it is the best one. Like, to be completely honest, it is because it is the best one. I've watched it is Spirited immaculate. Away. I've watched a few Studio Ghibli films that my girlfriend made me watch. I forget what their names are. What was the one with the big walking house? Um, it was like Hollows a fighter. Yes, I watched that one. Hollows? Howls? Howls? Yeah. Hollows? And then I oh, watched, whatever. I don't know if it's the same one or a different one, but there's something to do with a mailman at one point. Kiki's Delivery Service? Maybe. Um, I've, I've watched a lot of the Ghibli movies. There's a certain one that I don't want to talk about or think about, but um, there are... There's one that you will want to kill yourself after watching. I want to get, so um, speaking of Studio Ghibli, my, my girlfriend's a big fan. She wants to go to the Japanese park or whatever. Wait, I've been wait, Zach, pause, 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 pause. I didn't finish why the Dragon Quest conversation. Akira Toriyama, he is the person who designed all of the art in Dragon Ball Z, Chrono Trigger, and Dragon Quest. Chrono Quest. Trigger. Yes. He designed all of the art, right? He, he's the art director of all of them. So I love to see his work evolve through the series. How it looks better and, and, and nicer, more pixels, 3D. More soon. pixels. More pixels, 3D. Um, and the character design and the character. And the stories for the Dragon Quest games are all right. Three had an incredible story. Um, I'm just happy um, that I like it, uh, even though it's very grindy. Go ahead. Sorry. You're saying? Oh, I was going to say I wanted to show you. I want to buy her. Uh, whenever Period. they drop the oh. studio Ghibli has like a collab with Levi's coming out. They got some pretty cool. Oh shoot. So You'll have to zoom in there. Oh, she's messaging me right now. They got uh, like a bunch of studio Ghibli stuff that they're doing right now that I want to like, I want to get something for her. No, yeah, that, that shit Ghibli Ghibli has a certain like swagger to it. I don't know how yeah. else to describe it. It's like, it's like so well, well, did you know, but I know my it? Cowboy Bebop, and I know I played um, back in the day, uh, oh shit, fuck, Phantom Star, shit, I gotta look this Phantom up. Phantom Star Universe, Fantasy Star Universe. I think so, it was like PH, 
Yeah, but it was on it was on Xbox. It was an MMO. Yeah. Yep. Fantasy Star Online. Yeah. No, you know, online is different. You're, you're thinking of oh. Universe on the Xbox 360. Fantasy Star Universe. And there were the people in the lobby that would sit next to one another, acting like girlfriend and boyfriend. Horrible, <laughs> the dude. You want to hear something great? Yeah, this is it. I used to. Pl- I don't know why. I it used to play good. the shit out of Fantasy Star really Universe. Bad. It was really bad. Zach, you need to understand. Not even like maybe two years ago, they came out with a fantasy, a a working Fantasy Star Universe private server that works on PC, on fucking toaster pcs should we do a fantasy star universe (laughs) that would be so funny because the (laughs) game is so bad it's so dog shit that would be funny i would actually really like to do that with you is it so how do you how do you rate my uh anime catalog so far of cowboy bebop and fantasy star universe you've only watched bangers and i think and i genuinely if you have the time after sopranos i would i i would at least watch an episode or two of, of full metal alchemist brotherhood on, on, it's on Netflix. It's you on Brotherhood. You know what I hate about anime? It seems like every time you try to like talk to an anime guy, they're like, well, this p- part is awesome, and then this part sucks. And they have like a million and 28 episodes, and like they want to like reorder. I've heard One Piece is pretty good, though. But um, it is. I, but like, I don't know. I, I just, every time I talk to someone, they have like, they always preface it with what is amazing and what is not worth your time. You know what I mean? They always like, get defensive about what you're about to watch immediately. I will say, and I'll put and I'm going to say this with an asterisk because I, I might be blocking out a memory. So full metal alchemist 2004, whatever it was, the original anime it was kind of slow. And they made in 2011, they made full metal alchemist brotherhood, which was very, as much more updated and much faster paced and everything. I can't think of a, a moment that's like slow and bad and and FMA B. What was that? I mean, I, everyone knows about abridged shit, but what was that comedy abridged thing? The one that had the soup aisle bit. Dar- Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. I never watched. No. It. Oh fuck! What was the soup aisle bit, dude? This video is so fucking good. Uh. Yeah, it was from Code Geese. Code Geass. I Geass. never know. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Hold the, on. The abridged or the actual show. No, well, like some guy on YouTube. I don't even know if it was this so long. It was like a decade ago when this like guy did this. Um, so it may not have even been originally from YouTube, but this guy did like his own abridged of this show. I guess it's Code Geese, Geass or whatever. Um, Code Mint. That's what it was. Code Mint was his abridged version. And it was like this weird, haphazard comedy abridged version of this show. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like this one episode has three million views. Yeah, they, <laughs> this Dragon clip, Ball two million Dragon, views. Dragon I'm, Ball I'm had send an abridged this, series too. Dragon Ball I don't even know what abridged series. really means. I don't know. Just quicker. <laughs> oh, watch that Is video that can, though. It's thirty-seven can just, seconds. Can I just pause for a second and say? Riverside is working great. My computer is fixed. I edited the entire podcast in a week when I didn't think that was possible. That ep- that episode's going up tomorrow. I still haven't made the thumbnail because I've been busy all night. I've been moving my sister and brother out, and it's hot as fuck and muggy as fuck, and I'm sweating my ass off every day. And I'm I was wet and I showered. I was wait I was wet before I showered. Gradually, you're, you're lowering the bar slowly of your accomplishments, but yes, I, I hear you. I was wet and I showered. And I and then you got wet and I got a little yeah I got a little wet in the shower is a colder shower <sighs> and then I drink a coffee and now here and after an hour we've been here we've been and going strong great. my guy I'm feeling good too I'm feeling great it's a Friday I'm, I'm gonna see I'm so Oppie happy. this weekend huh I'm gonna see Oppie this weekend who's Oppie J Robert Oppenheimer this weekend oh <clears throat> okay. oh dude okay wait hold on so. I'm gonna nerd out. I'm gonna I'm gonna nerd out on you for a second. Yeah. I know we're gonna talk about more anime shit or whatever. No, no, I think we're good. Well, I sent you the code mint geese, no. but um, you're gonna watch that now. You're gonna wait because I want to talk about my weekend. Do you do your thing. So I might see Bar. I was my girlfriend's gonna see Barbie with some people on Saturday. I don't know if I want to go out two days for the movies in a row. I don't know if I want my whole weekend to be spent and going watch to the Barbie movies. and not Oppenheimer. 
Okay, well, I'm going to nerd out about Oppenheimer on you for a fucking minute oh, sorry, and about sorry. why I'm going to fucking see it. But I'm probably going to see Barbie later in the week or something. We'll probably find another day to see Barbie. It's fine. Um, so check this, right? Christopher Nolan shot the fucking movie on 70 millimeter IMAX. It's a thing people are nerding out about. And I went down a rabbit hole. Look at the graphic I've definitely sent you and didn't forget to put in. They took three strips of 70 millimeter IMAX and turned it on its side to make one single film strip. So the size of their image sensor is much larger than even the largest digital sensors. It's supposed to be really ridiculous. But then, Ben, did you know that most IMAX theaters in the United States are fake? They call them LIMAX because it's digital scans of IMAX uh, film strips that they then make a wider aperture lens and then push the camera further. So that way it looks bigger. Yeah. So if you're buying an IMAX ticket to Oppenheimer, there's a chance that it's it's not the true 70 millimeter IMAX that you're going to a LIMAX screen. This guy online put together this big map where people report LIMAX versus true IMAX. It is pretty unreliable. But thankfully, IMAX came out and they were like, yeah, we know that, that this is all fuckity wuckity. Uh, here's a list of all the true 70 millimeter IMAX showings of Oppenheimer in the world. There's only like 80 true IMAX theaters in the, in the entire world. And like half of them are in fucking museums. It just so happens that one of the uh, true 70 millimeter IMAX showings will be in Tempe, Arizona. And I immediately, when I got this knowledge, when it dropped and the tickets got launched, there's like day one, I checked it the first entire week they were sold out. Like entire wow. weeks worth of movies was wow. all sold out. I bought my ticket for this Sunday all the way already towards the very edge. And you just can't buy them now. You just can't buy them right now. Like, so I snagged oh, them. You got yours. I'm going to go see it. I'm going to go see it in the way Christopher Nolan truly intended. And I bet you it'll be the fucking same. <laughs> I bet you yeah. you won't be able to tell the difference. I like to think about it like vinyl records, right? Like I have a lot of vinyl records. I collect them. I like them. Sure. But those people that say that you could definitely tell the difference and it sounds way better on vinyl are kind of pretentious. I just think it's cool to have. That's how I feel yeah. about this. I'm probably yeah. not going to be able to tell the difference with my eyes, but it's cool to say I went, you know? Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. You should see Barbie instead, though. Did you see Barbie? No, I didn't see either. Are you going to see Barbie? No. So then you just want me to go see Barbie? Uh, yeah, because Oppenheimer looks boring and Barbie looks good. <laughs> Is that your argument? <laughs> it's funny. Ethan says it looks boring as shit, too. Um, I think both look fun. I think Barbie looks really funny. I'm excited to see it. I will see it. Um, Dude, but Barbenheimer. That's what we were going to go to, but I'm, I'm out. Um, but um, what was I going to go? What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I've been really interested. I, ju I just nerd out about history. Like, I love history, and I love, like, all sorts of wackadoo shit. And the last podcast on the left just did, like, six episodes on the Manhattan Project specifically. So if you wanted to nerd out about the Manhattan Project, that is my recommendation for, gosh, it is probably 12 hours of podcasting about the Manhattan Project. It's it's good, though. You should listen to it. Um, they probably did it. Oh, they definitely did it to piggy bank off of the wave of Oppenheimer Google searches though. So the only history I care about is that of Westeros. You ever heard the tale, the tragedy of Darth Plagueis, the wise or whatever the fuck. No, tell me it. it. Yeah. The, the, the Jedi would never have taught you that one. Have you ever seen star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, let's move on. Um, have you ever seen Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Were we going to talk about something I'm before so I derailed us on the Oppy stuff? Right. Um, there's Dragon Ball Z abridged. Oh, yeah. Watch mm -hmm. that fucking video. Those legs are crazy. Those legs are crazy, Zach. Yeah. Did you just, did you just message me? No, I'm just typing in notes for what to send you. Oh. Hello? Hey, what's up? I need your help. Can you come here? Ugh, I can't. I'm buying clothes. All right, well, hurry up and come over here. Well, I can't find them. What do you mean you can't find them? I can't find them. There's only soup. What do you mean there's only soup? It means there's only soup. Well, then get out of this soup aisle. All right, you don't have to shout at me.
I've never there's seen more this. There's more soup. What do you mean there's more soup? There's just more soup. Go into the next aisle. There's still soup. Where are you right now? I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? I mean I'm at soup. What store are you in? I'm at the soup store. Why are you buying clothes? I'm sorry to pause here because it seems like it's getting really dramatic. But fuck, I want some tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> it sounds pretty good, huh? I don't That's have all dinner. I want. Dude, I'm itching under my boob. Dude, if all we right. were in person right now, I'd say tomato soup and grilled soup cheese. Star! Fuck you! Bro, I'd... Look at the views in all those Code Ment episodes, though. I'd blow your back out. Oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit. I know. It was like a very popular YouTube thing yeah. back like yeah. eight years ago, apparently. A lot of views. Zach? Ben. I think it's time. Do you know what time it is? 7.58. So, you remember the last time I did this, it was, uh, it was your Twitter likes are fire. But now, it's your X likes are fire. Oh, my X likes are fire. Okay. The first one I see is this. And it just says spirals. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fire. It's a fire graphic design thing. Okay. I bet you there is some fire shit recently if you scroll through. So this this is a tweet. Uh, it's, a, it's a tweet that is a picture of a tweet. It says, what is the funniest Wi-Fi name you've ever seen? And the response from Elon Musk <laughs> is stinky. <laughs> And the and the caption for that pic that that, that picture of uh, the picture of tweets is I'm going to kill myself. Um, <laughs> this is a fucked up foods, which is a classic on on t Twitter. Um, this picture says nine layer case idea. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yep. Very millennial humor tonight. I don't know what this is. This is just an old man, and this is a picture of it in a, in a tweet. I mean, and this is an it. old man saying to the eight-year-old who said, "I can't rap," and that's the only context oh, yeah. you're given. I don't know. It's just the. I just like the idea of this like thirty-year-old man posting for like six hundred TikTok views, dissing eight-year-olds. There's this really good tweet. Um, that's a really good one it, in there. It's it just says I'm not bipolar, I'm by bi winning. Oh yeah, I wonder who the fuck tweeted that. There's a picture of a wet bed. Spicy. And the the re the, the quote tweet says, No woman should ever cry this much. A sad face. <laughs> <laughs> this this tweet just says, Family guy, funny as fuck when you're supposed to be applying to jobs. <laughs> Outback for lunch, Texas Roadhouse for dinner. That's how I roll. Thank you, Frankie Muniz. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. This rat is the funniest thing to I ever happen. I love Mr. Chetta. Mr. Chetta is so funny. It's the funniest thing to ever happen. It's the You're funniest thing to ever happen. It, but Mr. Chetta is pretty funny. What? What? Big day for autism. I don't even get what this means. Oh, so upper left is the new Aphex Twins record. Up, upper right is the new Travis Scott record. And I'll be honest, I don't know the bottom two. I think it's um, is that Taylor Swift? Can't be. I don't think she released a new album. I would have heard about he it if she released a new album. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to fucking Taylor Swift Spotify page right now. It's a picture of Saw Ten. <laughs> I know you're Patrick gonna say. and SpongeBob when they're looking at Mr. Krabs' map. <laughs> I don't see a new Taylor Swift album. Mitch McConnell having a seizure or whatever, whatever Dude, that was Tim crazy. Pool said. I know this funny picture shit. Of Albert though. Einstein in the caption is ice cream. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Very relevant. This is a tweet by Christina Von Olin. Feeling like a freak on a leash and it's a <laughs> rabbit. What is the, I don't, I don't get that at all. I don't understand that at all. Uh, freak on a leash is a corn song. Is it not? If not, it's some other song. Isn't Freak on a Leash the song that goes Is it? Is that what it's called? <coughs> so as it turns out, a uh, pigeon holder is actually an extremely safe and efficient way to hold a pigeon still long enough to give it medicine. And this guy said, oh cool, 
was just wondering this. And it's just a picture of a pigeon in a box. <laughs> I invented the first nuclear bomb. I'd be like, yay, colon three, three. I did it. Yay. Yippee. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say this one. Brother, U-27, time for data science. <laughs> Bro, computer science is such a waste. Are you, you data science, right? No, I'm computer science. Big man. See these tits? <laughs> Looking like two fucking Jimmy Deans over there. <laughs> when, when I... Um, Pokemon Sleep came out! Did Double I play that Jimmy already? Deaned up on a Friday night. I already told you about Pokemon Sleep. Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we actually we did talk about Pokemon Sleep. When I would go to college, or when my brother would go to college and I was already out of college, he would have like a three-hour class and I would wait in the, in the parking lot and play Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon on my DS. Uh, this guy said, "Me, me acutely aware. Women like it when you ask them about themselves. What the hell is your problem?" I didn't. I, I'm gonna get that. Can I please petition to make Zach from the Regurgitated Podcast the voice of Mister Cheddar? How we doing tonight, ladies? I'm Mister Cheddar. I'm here to the, cheese you up. The Midwest is where they let white people really be themselves. That is true. That is true. What yeah. is the Midwest? Is that like Idaho? No. I mean, like, if you didn't know any concept of American culture, you would look at that and think so. But no, the Midwest is like Wisconsin. Oh, Chicago. yeah, for sure. Those cheese guys use the F slur all the time. Drunk white boy orders so, six milligram. I can't even. I'm not going to read don't, that. Don't, don't dismiss the cheddar like that, please. He would never say it's the slur. Gang, 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 gang. Mm, ice cream so good. Mm, ice cream so good. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> should we have Mr. Cheddar on as a guest? Or no, Pinky we should Doll? have fucking Pinky Doll on. Well, that would be, that'd be based. Bro, you know about Tater Tot. Oh, yes, I do know the about Tater Tot. Stuffed ass cat. Oh, like he he's got his freaking out removed. about Tater Tot. He got the cast taken off, right? He got, him, he got his cast taken off, bro. Dude, hashtag he's praying free. for Tater Tot. Hashtag this, free my tell me this isn't the tot. ugliest cat you've ever seen. He's cute. That is an ugly fucker. No, that I've is an seen ugly cats. I have seen fucker. uglier cats for sure. Tell me one uglier, uglier cat than any tater of those tot. fucking hairless cats. That's true, you, dude. What, it's funny when they slap each other because it makes like a full like. I don't hate them by the way, sound. but they are uglier than that. They're uglier. Yeah, that's true. I've seen some scruffy looking fucking cats, dude. I don't know what the context of this is. I just find it funny. It's just like. I, 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 that tweet saying, if you're a bug, just be careful. <laughs> I don't know what that means at all. I have no concept of what that could possibly mean. Does your Twitter you feed look like you that? A bug? Oh, what? yeah, I'd be real careful. You playing grounded, you would know. Does, it, does your Twitter, does your X feed look like that? What? Like that, like those type of tweets. Is that what your X feed looks like? No, because I'm on, I'm on the regurgitated Twitter, so it's a bunch of Before you garbage. logged out, was that what your Twitter feed looked like? No, like, mostly like, YouTubers. How does it feel peering into another another feed, another world? I'm just impressed. Impressed <laughs> is the word. By what? We're sorting this out. We're gonna. Look I'll at never the see it. I'll, I'll feed. never. I will never think. I, I going into what I just watched. I would never have thought to, to that I was going to come across a a picture of a tweet. I was probably screenshotted about nine times because it was shit quality that said, if you're a bug, just be careful. I never would have. I never would have saw, seen that in my does life. It, if it, it weren't for going through you want to go check it out more. No. I just want to I just want to make a, a button on the um, website that just says like Zach's Twitter likes. So Ooh. you can just scroll through it in real time. Um, so I've been using the regurgitated Twitter. And everybody, everybody's digging it, I think, so far. Everybody's. You rarely tweeted anything. Then you log out of your main account, log into our shared account, and start tweeting every fucking hour. So the, here's the thing, Zach, because I'm trying to market the podcast. This is what I've always wanted to do, is just make funny tweets. So I quit Twitter. I, I haven't said that yet. I, I completely... I'm not using Twitter on my, uh, my personal account anymore. I'm done with it. I'm only now I'm only tweeting on the regurgitated Twitter for marketing purposes. Okay. 
You're going to grow the Twitter? Hopefully. If you successfully grow the Twitter, I'll I'll pay you two more dollars than I owe you for the shirt. You'll all pay you four dollars. Keep doubling your money. Eventually, I'll be out of fucking money. So I tweeted this, and I tagged Mr. Beast. I did not see that, actually. I tagged Mr. Beast. I tagged Mr. Beast, and I added an alt text. And it says, give me Mr. Beast Burger. It's pretty good, right? Can I have Mr. Beast Burger? Why isn't that in my Twitter likes? See? And then it said, hottest Disney. It says, hottest Disney animal characters ranked. And I posted, bro. I posted Tristan Werner. (laughs) That is big Tristan energy. (laughs) BTE, big Tristan energy. Ooh. Can we trademark someone else's image? I had a dream about Tristan. I had a dream, crazy weird dream. I had a dream that he was in a CoffeeZilla video, but the CoffeeZilla video was like a movie. And it was with a bunch of YouTubers that I really like. And he was like the cool guy in the movie. And I'm like, that fits Tristan so well because he is the cool guy. Am I wrong? Tristan, <laughs> I don't think I want to hear any more people I know end up in coffee solo videos. <laughs> I'm already um, skating too close to the number of people I know that have been in coffee solo videos. And, and the last thing I tweeted most recently is drop your vine at. How about this? Funny. How about this, Ben? Let's make a deal. Pencil you in on a deal. Stroke that. Make this seem like it's my signature. I'm not doing that. Hey, I'm Zach, and welcome to the Disney Channel. I'm not doing all that. Okay, I will strike your deal. How about instead of liking tweets, I will DM them to the regurgitated account so you can tee you up for an epic quote tweet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You want me to do that? I I'll literally just fill, woke up. I'll just Zach. fill your tweets. Zach, I woke up this morning and saw the tweet that um, Ethan was Ethan tweeted at me. Uh, Congratulations, he, 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 he big guy. He tweeted me the picture of, he tweeted the regurgitated Twitter, the picture of the Paw Patrol tweet with a quote tweet and then <laughs> yeah. mine right above it. I saw that quote tweet and I said, I was like, this is, I my eyes have been open for maybe two minutes. And I'm like, this will make a good tweet maybe. And so I just retweet the Paw Patrol tweet, just saying, yo. And I get called out by a baby. I want to get him back on. Unfortunately, he's going to Jamaica today. Just jump on the call, bro. Ah, that's what I'm saying. I think they don't have internet, though. Dude, I, the, I look... If I was like a wrestler, bro, I'd look fucking hot. You look like you would fucking go about to go ape shit on me right now. I so. feel like... No, I, dude, imagine I had tits. Wait. Imagine I had, like, tits and Robot I was like, standing rock. like this. Imagine I have tits. Pam, <laughs> whatever <laughs> now. Bo- dude, boob crease right here. And I'm like this, and I, there's like an ar- a hole in the armpit. Like, bro, I'd be sexy as fuck. I'm jerking off right now. Is that why the camera's moving so much? <laughs> um, <laughs> what, there's another th- one last thing I wanted to say to you. Um, kill yourself. Kill yourself. No. But I will do that. I will. I will fill up your inbox. I feel you oh. don't have to reply to any of them, but it okay, gives you I a feed you were to scroll say, through. I will kill myself. Okay, go no, ahead. but I will. I will just spam the Twitter account with tweets to react to. Yeah, for sure. I, I would love that. Oh Ben, I'm sorry. For, I'm I'm so behind on short shit. I've been my. I know you talked about all this shit and how productive you still were. I'll be honest. I ain't got none of that shit. I've just been tired as fuck. Zach, you know what I mean? Want to talk? I, I, I want to talk to you about today. So. Not to go into too much detail, but today I didn't have to do much work. I could have done, I got a lot of work done at my actual job, but I said, and I, but I then decided I'm going to edit the podcast instead. And I got a lot of it done today. A lot of it done today. Got all of it done um, today. I got all, I well, most of it. Like I had like 40 minutes edited first run and I got, I got all, I think it's like an hour, 56 minutes or something like that. So I edited the video, got off work was like hype as fuck. I was like, I'm finally like, I don't, I don't have to spend all my free time, you know, uh, editing a video or doing this or that. So I set up, oh, I set up my switch to play more Zelda. I haven't played Zelda in like two weeks. For some reason I was having an issue where 
I, 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 it, it was only export like showing 480p. It was only it, like, I could only play as at 480p. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I have, I have my my switch going through a switcher, which sounds weird. Going through a switcher, then going through a splitter, then going through the uh, uh, an Elgato, and then coming to the monitor. So I was like, I don't know what part of this is fucked. <laughs> I don't know Bless what part your of this heart, sweet up. child. Yeah, that, that, that hurt a lot. I don't know what part of that is fucked up. It takes me like 20 to 30 minutes to finally figure out what's going on. I just had to unplug the switcher, plug it back in, and it worked great. Thank God. I do that. I start playing Zelda. I'm like, finally, freedom. Two minutes, maybe three minutes go by, and I hear my dad go, Come on, buddy. We're uh, we're 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 taking Chris's bed downstairs. And I said, okay, that'll be quick. I didn't stop going. That was like maybe four thirty. I didn't stop going until eight thirty. So I didn't get to play Zelda because I, as soon as I, it was actually more like eight forty-five for Ben. He didn't get to play Zelda. <laughs> it was actually more like eight forty-five, and I immediately showered and then and then sat here, ate food, made coffee, and then started the podcast. So you're stopping me from playing Zelda, and I'm mad at you. Um, you're stopping me from jerking off. I haven't done that in like a day. You were just doing it two minutes ago. Exactly right. Ice cream's so good. <laughs> it's just beating your fucking meat. The big ice cream's so good. She's an OnlyFans star. Huh? She is an OnlyFans star. Is she star though? I don't think she makes that much money on OnlyFans. Oh, she. She's Pinky Doll. Put some respect on Pinky Doll's name. I sure they made like a few thousand a day. I feel like most. I thought like, she made like twenty grand a day from, the, from something. I thought it was like four or five thousand. I mean, it's still a lot of money, right? But it's She's like a, a star. <laughs> There's some freaks out there, man. Freaks for what? There's some freaks out there that'll do that. Do what? Put, Put I mean, that on repeat. Loop. Oh yeah, I'm down. You ever you ever want to be sexualized? <laughs> I have a cancelable take. Oh, tell me. Hit me. I don't give a... Oh, do I want to get into this? Who was that streamer that got called out for for having AI porn of their friends? Just Atria. dive right into the deep end. You know what I'm talking about? Atriox. Atriox? Can I, can I say something? And I'm, this is me. This is a coming from a place of... I want to be clear. This is not coming from a place of putting anyone down, trying to hurt anyone's feelings, trying to minimize anyone else's experience. It is coming from a place of trying to understand and trying to learn. I don't see how that's different from rule 34. So what I've understood about it is that it feels like because it is a face being matched to another face, it feels more like violation or rape versus uh, fan art. Because but, it's like my body. I don't know, maybe didn't this do is that. just my male my brain. Because I think isn't like the that. purpose of all of it just to pretend like you're jerking off to someone yeah. specifically? Yeah. And I don't know. But again, it's different. This it's is different. Not, I'm, not, I'm not done this with my friends. I've not done this. I'm not doing this yet. But I'm just saying. I, I don't. Know. For, from my perspective, if you're a public figure, if you're saying I'm going to make a podcast, I'm going to be a musician, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. A part of The price you pay is putting your image out of your control in a way. Mm -hmm. Like Mm -hmm. if you're a presidential candidate, you, I mean, like obviously like you try to market yourself to have a certain image, but people are obviously going to say mean things about you and make mean images about you. And, you know, like just, you know what I'm trying to say? People are allowed to run with it. Mm -hmm. If I'm, a pot, like if I go right now and look up Eminem Rule Thirty Four, it's not people drawing OC. It's people photoshopping Eminem's face on a bunch of people fucking jerking off. I've yeah. done this. Um, mm-hmm. That to me is not like fan art. You know what I mean? Like it is, but like to me, the expressed purpose of photoshopping Eminem's face jerking off is either to laugh at it or to get some kind of sexual thing out of it because you want to fuck Eminem you know what I mean Mm -hmm. there's no level of like I'm making art right now 
to most of those. I'm sure there are some exceptions. You know what I mean? And to me, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not going to go out and like hate the people that fucking made that image or whatever. Cause in my mind, if you're like a celebrity like that, not that it should happen, but I'm saying like a part of that deal is your image is now outside of your control a little bit. Like people Not are going to roast you online if they don't like your album. People are going to uh, like the Pete Davidson thing with Kanye West. I'm not like there's a lot of reasons to hate Kanye West right now. But like yeah. the Pete Davidson with his head cut off thing, like he, that image is out of Pete Davidson's control. He's a public figure. People are allowed to do that. You know what I mean? I don't think you're wrong. I but I, I think that there, it's it's having to be having to see it. It was a different thing entirely. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't he just like have it on a tab people read or something? Yes. So they didn't and, see but, it. But it was, but like everybody that was involved got DMs and shit from fans saying, oh, oh this it? is on this website. Yeah. Yeah. So it being there and them seeing it is the problem. So um, the problem for I feel the like they would disagree with that, though. Victim. I feel like they would, they would. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like a lot of them would argue that the creation of the image itself is a violation. And I don't even inherently disagree with that. And I'm not trying to like victim blame or anything because they certainly have a right to feel that way. You know what I mean? But like, I just, I just see these two things and I'm like, I have a hard time. I have a hard time being okay with rule 34 and not being okay with that and having those two ideas coexist just like the house wrecking thing you know what i mean it's like i feel like i can't listen to rappers be like yo i fucked your bitch in a song and be like oh they're a cool person they're a player they're out having fun and then like be upset with someone who's not cheating on anyone but just so happened to hook up with someone that is you know what i mean like i I just feel like these double like I don't want to call it a double standard because I feel like I don't truly understand it. I feel like there's an aspect of this that makes it different that someone can explain to me that will make me go, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because it does make me feel uncomfortable What that Atriox guy. Isn't Atriox the villain in Halo Infinite? Atriox is the villain in Halo Infinite. Atriox is, is the guy. He's just like he does he marketing people. stuff. He's, he's in your vein. You, you guys do the same thing all the time. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my Twitter likes, but there's this Atriox guy. Like what, what he does, does make me feel uncomfortable. I want to say that, like what he's saying, it does make me feel uncomfortable. Yes. And I don't think he should have done it. But at the same time, I'm just logically having a hard time separating that from this other thing. And I'm sure someone has an answer. I just can't figure it out. It also, so, looks like I'm jerking off a bunch of dicks right here. So if you want to Photoshop I want, I that, think, go ahead. I think something that'll help, help you understand that is the idea that on a deep fake, that is the that is not an interpretation of the face. That is their face actively getting fucked by someone they never had sex with before. It's it's it, it is it is like it is. It's gonna sound so fucking cringe. But, but like, how do you feel about the photoshopped images? Like take deep faking out of it. Those if I look up and I'll do it right now. I'll send you a picture of Eminem naked. <laughs> Eminem. It's, it's less. It's it's less violating. I'm sure it's still violating, but it's I feel less like it should like, be even more violating because someone in like took the effort to like craft that. You know what I mean? Um, yes, I have glasses. And no, what? <laughs> I was definitely oh, yeah. looking at images and I'm just That's realized funny. I'm wearing glasses. I see what you're saying, and I see I see how why you can't separate the two. Um, I, I just think seeing it in video form and seeing it in picture form are just completely different. Like you can, and I do, I'm just saying, I feel like they'd have the same reaction to it if they never saw it at all. That if they heard that their friend was doing that, if did they, if they never saw it, it wouldn't be a problem. I don't know if that's true. I don't think the issue is them seeing it or not. I think the issue is the fact that their friend made that and thought those things. He didn't make it. He watched, he watched it. Um, no, didn't he go and intentionally go to websites and like uploaded their faces to something? No, I don't think he did all that. I do. I do recall something. I don't think he made any of it. I think he paid. I thought maybe the paid, thing no, was he that he made for it. it. I thought that was the thing that was that he was going to websites no, and uploading it. faces. He just watched it. Then he didn't make it. 
but then he didn't send them to the friends. Random people online did. Yeah, but he shouldn't. But have, I really don't get what the issue it. is. He shouldn't have watched it. Is the point? He was the catalyst. And again, when I say I don't get what the issue is, like obviously, like that's that's still weird. But like, I don't know. I'm just there, there's a disconnect somewhere. Yeah, I, I it, it's. I'm not trying to be combat. I'm not trying to say that these people shouldn't feel the way that they feel. I'm just saying there's something here I'm not quite getting. I can't put myself in the shoes of someone who feels violated by a video. I don't think I would be. I haven't seen one. Maybe when I see one, I will be. You've but done that to me. I put a dick in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you've already done that to mm-hmm. me. But if it, I'm in video format, I, I, I feel like it'd be much different. But I feel like I would feel less bad about that than if I found out that you had saw a video someone else made and then sent it to me being like, look at what this guy made. I would feel less bad about that than the thing you already did because the thing you already did required you to go out of your way and spend time making me look like that. Well, I mean, deep fakes take a fuck ton of time too. As long as you, you, have, you, you have get to what I'm it. trying to say though. Like it's not like what I'm trying yeah. to say is I feel worse if you spent the time to make it then if you found something online of someone else that made it and then you sent it to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So you're, Atriox what, so, is a, the villain of Halo and him yep. doing that to all those women was horrible. Yep. Never allowed yeah, him to stream I gotta, on Twitch I gotta, again. I gotta get, I'm going to give credit where credit's due though. He came back recently. He spent a bunch a fuck ton of money getting um a bunch of deep fake porn websites take it down um uh i don't know if legally or just re- he requested or cease and desisted or whatever he did and a lot of money he's doing the right thing um and he's getting back into making his his content i don't really care for his content i watched one or two of his videos in the last like week eh, not my not my cup of tea really but um um, hey, if that's if that is healing someone's pain, I'm all for it. And again, I I just I just want to re reemphasize. I'm I'm not coming that from that as a, as a from a place of being like you should feel like you shouldn't feel how you feel or that that isn't wrong. It's purely me being like I just logically don't. Yeah, like, there's there's something that I need to do work on. You know. Yeah. That's it. That, that, that's I want to be honest topic, about it. Though. I don't want to sit here and pretend like I don't feel a certain way. You know, mm. if you saw yourself getting railed on video and you knew it wasn't you, but you, your face was attached to the person getting railed. Would you, f- you think you feel different? I mean, like <sighs> it already happened to me. What do you mean? You, you made that picture. I wasn't expecting that video. video. Who gives a fuck if it's a video or a picture? I think video makes it feel more real. I mean, like, I guess. It was clearly a Photoshop, what I did. I, 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 I mean, it just feels like real. we're in the area of semantics. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, what's the difference between, um, like, this picture meme versus, like, the little 30-second video meme? It's like, whoa, is it really, am I really getting much more upset by the video than the, I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. So, conclude your thought. I've honestly lost my train of thought at this point. Yeah. Call my job. Tell them I'm an awful person. Oh, but I would, I would think it was funny. Someone should do that to me. I wouldn't see, I wouldn't want like my mom seeing it or anything, but like, I think I would personally think it would be funny. You should do that. Someone out there. You look like Snorlax right now. Ooh, I have like the, dude, you want to see my favorite Snorlax? We also use AI at work a lot for stuff like we, Mess around with AI tools a bunch, and uh, I haven't like, I haven't, AI, like bro, deep, fake, deep faked someone, but I know what it takes. Yeah, that's what you look like, bro. Do you want to hear me? me you should go to Kineticon twenty twenty four looking like that. Save that shirt for next year, bro. Actually, this is a really this is a really good way to end the show because after the show, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna try to find food, but I, I it's been a good show. This has been a good show. I like talking to you, Zach. I was very spry today. So I have a, I have Spry a, as all hell. Is it this one? Oh, my day is telling me to rate my day. Was today a good day, Ben? Was today After a bad today? day? 
Every day that I'm with you is, is good, Zach. Okay, I'll say it's a good day then. I'll say it's a rad no. day, not a good day. No. I don't have I don't have the video this the sounds of me snoring. Shit. We should do a whole Wait. commentating over your sleep sounds thing. You hear that? Oh, is that you snoring? You hear that? Did it, does it That's turn awesome, it out? dude. You, you do hear it. It, record, it records 10, uh, 10 audios every night. Of course, 10 audios every night. I think this one's on my dog barking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's at 1.33 in the morning. That is my ringtone. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that I can just, it just listens to me sleep. Um, I like Pokemon Sleep. Uh, it, it's what I, I literally, I'll, I go to bed. I, you have to have the app open. I go to bed and it just listens to me sleep and somehow that it tracks my sleeping which I feel like is Isn't super it inaccurate. Dude, it's 27. It's time for data science. Isn't it crazy that like data can do that though? Like just purely based off of like when you make certain noises in your sleep, they can track like what state yeah, of I mean, sleep you're in. I cannot imagine it's that accurate, but it is cool that it can do anything. Like it can, it can tell kind of when I'm asleep, when I'm awake, you know, all that shit. Um, I really want to, I said this on the last podcast at, at randomly. I want a Fitbit. Because I like I, I like to track my heart rate as well as well as so probably much more accurate sleeping. Supposedly, so Google Pixel just released their um, first gen of their watches of their smart watches um, last year. I think Gen Two is going to be this upcoming October with the new Pixel phone. I'm going to try to get. Um, apparently, there's a lot of issues with it. MKBHD did a great review of it, but in preparation for that, they bought Fitbit. So Google owns Fitbit now. Um, he had complaints about how they integrated Fitbit in with the Google Pixel Watch that the functionality was there, but it was separate from the Pixel stuff. It didn't feel like integrated or whatever. Mm-hmm. But one of his odd, the odd, the odd quirks of the thing is it has a constant heart rate monitor built into the Google smartwatch. But what he was saying was it, it's like a double-sided sword because it checks your heart rate like once a minute or like once every, like an absurd amount of time. Like it mm-hmm. is con- like way more than any other smartwatch it is like constantly updating your heart rate like every second and he noted it as like kind of a negative thing as like oh it just drains battery life super hard which is an issue the pixels have a lot of the main issue i have with my pixels is the battery life is just crap um but uh it's not crap it's just not good um but so like it drains your battery life a lot but if all you're interested in is a heart rate monitor supposedly it has Fitbit built into it and it um, is like one of the better, like it, the, the rate at w- which it checks your heart rate at is absurdly quick. I, I would, I was going to be like maybe too deep, but I would like, if I'm like having a panic attack or something, I'd like to see my heart rate in real time. You know what I mean? Like I'd, I'd, it just I'd makes you panic even more. Yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see like what heart my my what panic panic attacks do. I like to see what like chill gaming does, or like Ugh. when I'm like when I'm like I'm re- I'm really I get really stressed with like PvP games. I sweat a lot. I don't like being I don't like playing competitively at all. Um, like to see like how I do then, like what I what I when my heart rate go up or go down. Like when I'm sleeping, where's my heart rate? Where's my resting heart rate? Like when I when I do a walk, when I help my family move out, I would love to see all that. Um, but it's also like one hundred seventy dollars. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, we got a personal loan. You got a personal loan? Was that what you I said? got an email for a personal loan. They want to. Are you going to take it? Loan. Yeah. Oh, good. I, uh, you know it's good when they email you saying you got a personal loan, but they don't say what the interest rate yeah. is or any of the terms or why would they? Yeah. I'm uh I'm 
as a little final bit, because I think uh, we're about oh, wrapping it up. the lottery here. ticket from last time that you were mad at me for chewing. Bro, you chewed on it and it like dripped onto your lap. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm, I'm, I, I've put together a new PC. PC um, part picker? PC part picker. Can't it's call them that anymore. 1600 to 1800 uh, dollars depending on the day um, dude I need a new computer I need to buy so many things I want to um, I'm going to send you my build yeah actually do that um, so I need to get the new pixel well I don't need to get it. I can get any phone but like I'm trying to get the new pixel in October this phone even though I love it falling apart on me um, so I need to get that I'm booking a trip to Denver I need to get book stuff for my uh, girlfriend's birthday type thing um, I'm trying to go back out east later this year too. That's going to be hella expensive, and I need a new computer, which is also going to be hella expensive. And then, do you ever like look at your salary and be like, "That's pretty decent," but then think about I spent a thousand dollars on this, thousand dollars on that, thousand dollars on that, five hundred there, five hundred there. It's just living oh, as an adult. That's is all much, my money. Living as that's an like adult, all my money to do those things. It's yeah, it, it's 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 a lot. Living as an adult is just too expensive, especially when that's like trying to move out. In Especially like, when it's 2023 and you live in one of the largest cities in the country. Dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For you, um, it must be horrible. I, um, it's, it's, I gotta say that I really, I'm really hoping on Virginia because I do like Virginia. It would, it would make the podcasting much, much better. I'd be there at least once a year. I, the fucking issue with the, with that is like, it's expensive. It's, Connecticut's marginally more expensive. Let me say, depends on where you're at in Virginia. Nova will be more expensive than where you're at, no question. Yeah. Um, where you were looking at, less expensive, sure. But hard to get, as you're saying, limited uh, supply. Um, I, I want to get the fuck out of my house real bad. And I am, I'm really excited. I'm excited to move. I'm excited to move. I'm excited to move. I'm excited to move. Me when I'm a cow. My face when I'm Just so a excited. Cow. Just so excited to move. I'm so excited to move. Um, <laughs> such a dumb bit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't remember what I was going to say now. Something smart. Yeah, it's always something smart. But if it's me, it's just very stressful. And um, I go. I have to. You know, I'm. We're Alexis and I are going, getting hotels and having to get food and be there for a week uh, at a time, if not more, and working from shitty like laptops with shitty internet. Um, like it's it's a lot. I don't know how often I can do it, especially in this time of the year. For my job is busy, insurance it's busy for, uh, for one 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 season. Um, right, I'm in an insurance family too. Yeah. So it's just going to be fucking rough the next few weeks, months, maybe. She she wants to unironically, Alexis kind of wants to check out Texas, which Oh yeah. Which I have always been a proponent for. My girlfriend uh lived there for a while. She just visited it again this year. Your we're in Texas. Live there? Is that what you said? No, singular. Oh. Where we're in Texas. She liked the place in Plano. I need to check where that it's is. Like 40 minutes out of Dallas, I think. Oh, DFW area? Maybe. Dallas Fort Worth area? Yes. Maybe. Yes, it's DFW. Yep. Um, I like acronyms for places DMV, DFW, Nova. Nova. You know what, Nova? You know what? Want to hear something really weird? Nova always reminds me of a game that my buddy had on his iPod, oh uh, no, iPhone, his first iPhone. There was a game called Nova. I wonder if it's still around. But it was supposed to be like it was the it was marketed as Halo for iPhone users. Have you considered moving to Los Algodones, Mexico? I don't want to I don't really know if I want to move to Los Alpha Dogs. Oh man. All right, let's 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 wrap this bitch the fuck up. You're tired. I'm sorry. Is someone tired? Is someone, does someone not want to stand there while I look up uh, places in Google Maps silently? I fucking love you. 
Wait, can I play sound effect? Wait, can we oh, play do you want to see wall? SpongeBob with his cock out? Yeah, send me. Want me to scare you? Yeah. Oh, sweet. We should have like little funky breaks. Like if we're kind of stalling on bits and stuff, you should just do a little funk, random funk breakdown, random funk alert. Okay. What are these? Are these, are these default Riverside sounds, or did yeah, you import yeah. these yeah. like funk breakdown loops yourself? Wait, let's see. Is this the wait? I, I hope there's no audio. I hope that none of this gets actually sent to the recording. This this is called cheering. Tell me, do you think this is going to be just the 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 like the stock? It's the Halo uh, grunt birthday party sound. They know that no one would cheer for this. It's not. <laughs> that should go on the whole time. <laughs> There's a few of these. Dude, we're getting an intro? Powered by Riverside. No, Powered no, by Riverside. no, no. What did I play? Are we just watching the Xbox game showcase? <laughs> this is so not the fucking quality we get out of Riverside, it's not even funny. This is how it feels to use Riverside FM. Who's playing this? Who's playing this for their show? <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Is that all of them? That's the transition sound. They only, <laughs> they only have transition two and transition five. There's no one, four, or three. <laughs> oh, I made a sound at work today. <laughs> what, was it a fart? Um, I was playing around in Premiere where um, I, I was working with tricks where you can like extend stuff out and add reverb to it. So like it extends the clip out with reverb and stuff. Um, and I was doing all sorts of funny stuff. I was like chopping specific clips and then adding distortion to it. So I'm bam, and then I would like add like the reverb extension on that little bang. So it was like, bang, course, yeah. bang, and, and then the I bang, like, bang. you know, yep. I like flange it. So when like, bang, 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 I was mm -hmm. just messing around with a lot of sounds, you know? Yeah, and I was just doing little beats. I was trying to work, but then I ended up making like a rap beat within my timeline. I was like, boom, but don't boom, but don't bam. Why do you Instead do of like the random show? little sounds, because I'm lazy, dude. I've been so lazy. Oh my gosh! And now I gotta edit four parts of Naruto Redux. You know, it's, how is it even gonna come out? It's gonna be in a week. I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. I have to send you. More the the, the More answers video. to those questions. <laughs> More video. I gotta send you the answers to those questions real bad though. You already told them to me in the video. Huh? You already told them to me in the video. Yeah, but you don't know what the fuck you're looking up. What are you talking about? You say it out loud. What's team seven? They were pretty. His team for pretty much the whole fucking series. <laughs> That's what we should watch together, all 500 episodes, or 720 episodes of Naruto. I would rather murder children. I've watched about 600 episodes of uh, 500 something episodes of One Piece. That's what I'm talking about. I can't do it. Wait, how many episodes of The Sopranos are there? There's like six seasons of 10 episodes, right? Yeah. So it's like 60, right? Yeah, I would think so. 
Like pretty much the same for Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul 2. That is like my limit on a TV show. Even those really? were like. Whew, there were long. 76 episodes of Game of Thrones and only 60 ish mattered. So the other ones were bad. Anyways, I'm just trying to say, man, I'm sorry. I did not go through as much bull malarca as you did. And I just have felt so low energy after getting off of work recently. Either that or I'm tied up in other stuff. You know what I mean? It's just, just, I got the reflex shorts done for next week. They're all, they're just, I, that's been slowing down a little bit too. I need to get back on main. There will be a point later this year where I do promise you it'll all get back on track again and it'll all be good and it will be done. And uh, people will understand what got this that means. Out, yeah, yeah. And uh, you can censor that. Um, but yeah, I, it'll I, all I, be I'm, Gucci. I'll be Gucci. I'm, I'm excited for it. Uh, you'll have 27 to make shorts out of if uh, when you have time. I'm not even done with 26. Really? No, like not even halfway done with 26. Did 26 have any con? 27 didn't. Uh, 27 will probably will probably. 27 is already out. 28 you're talking about. 28 will probably be quick. But you're you're halfway through 26. Yes. You have all 27, yes. and now you're gonna have 28 tomorrow. Yes. yes. Oh, that's sick. You gonna make <laughs> yes. The, that's dude, how far behind I good am. Good fucking luck making the making the, the trailer for 28. It was so laid back. There were like no bits. It'll be like an OG chilling. trailer where there's like some bossa nova music. You know, like an o- OG trailer. You, you know, like a zero zero nine. What zero zero nine sound system? Wow, wow, wow. You know what I'm talking about? No. Okay. Look, everyone. I love you. You already know that. Look, give, give me some love. Give Ben some love. Give that I'm guy sexy. some love. <laughs> I can't whistle because I'm laughing. <laughs> I can't. I'm laughing. I can't whistle if I'm laughing. This whistle muscles are taken up by smile. I can't. Did you get that? I did. And you know what's great is I can put that through snap camera and I can actually make myself look like a beautiful woman. Can you do the loud whistle? Mm -mm, I can't really whistle. I just want to stick this pen right in there. My little... Oh, it's in this fucking show, bro. Um... Thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you liked it, subscribe. If you didn't like it, subscribe. And then hopefully the next one will be better. And if it's not, unsubscribe. And yeah, if please unsubscribe, that's what. And if do. this is the Reflux channel that I'm on right now, subscribe and just ignore it if you want. Just put you get, you get that sub in there. We want to get to a thousand. I do. Really we get to a thousand. just want to get to a thousand. Pretty bad. Yeah. So just. Hit sub. Hey, Rosen Bar, unless I jinx it, Rosen Bar will hit 20K in a week or two. She's old, huh? <laughs> that might be the funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the funniest joke <laughs> you've ever said. That was, uh, that was not <laughs> funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, um, I got boogers in my nose. Uh, yeah. watch no, I, 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 I do promise you, I will, I will catch up on shit, but it, it's pretty shit, lackluster, dude. right? I know you don't, but I care. It's in the back of my mind. I got to see Oppie first. Then I'm okay. good. Oppie, Oppie will fix it all. Uh, but thank you, everything, everybody for watching. Love you. And um, have a fantastic rest of your Wherever day, you night are. cycle. Minecraft. I play this. They don't go in watch cycles. This, watch they don't this go again. In cycles. Watch. Watch this again while playing Minecraft on a public server. See what happens. Try that in a small town. All right, I need this. <laughs> wait. Oh wait. We have to have a. We have to have a, a hard out. Um. I thought uh, that was it for a second until you struck that pose. I guess that Donald is the Trump. hard out. Oh, Donald Trump. Make America great again. Please. No. 2016. Make it happen again.